Good evening, everyone. And welcome to part two of our episode or thing, watching Dr. Witnesser having an absolute meltdown, admitting that he doesn't care, doesn't know his own theology, doesn't know anything of, the th of what he d proclaims to preach about, um, over on Br the channel Bridge the Divide, hosted by J.L. Warren. That is what we're up to today. We're gonna part two, we're gonna get through this. We got halfway through it last time in three hours, so we're gonna try to get through the other half in three hours. Um, and you know, wish us luck, I guess? I... I don't, I don't know, I don't know. There was a lot of additional like Googling and uh, shit we had to look up and talk about just to make sure that we got the, um, the information correct. Uh, no, part one is still up, but it will, it should, like, it should be available for VOD. However, it's gonna go up on YouTube as well. I think I'm not gonna bother editing it. I think I'm just gonna put it out as is, as a whole three-hour special, I guess. Um, but, yeah, that's what we're up to today. I am, I also am excited because it turns out I don't just have one ab. I actually have a second one forming down here, too, if you look at it sideways. I'm so excited! Uh, 18 hours ago and you were asleep. What do you think? Who told you you were allowed to sleep? Who? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't recall that being legally allowed. Whoops, I turned my screen off. There we go. Hi. Hello. Uh, so, you guys ready? You guys comfortable? No. It's abdominal muscles. <laughs> What do you mean? No! Get out of here! Get out of here with you crazy! Huh. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit still out of sorts. I was sorting myself out to get the stream ready, but I, uh, have not succeeded. I haven't settled down yet. Oh, man. So. Are you guys ready? I don't feel prepared for this. It was really stupid yesterday, and I feel like it's just gonna get worse. <sighs> Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I'm stalling. What the fuck is it? Okay, I'll look at this later. So I was looking at something at the on the YouTube or on the Discord. By the way, please remember to take clips if you see something funny or you think something is a uh a, a good take or an amusing little rant and make sure that you post those in the Discord. Um, so that way I can feature them, and if you want your name, um, on the screen for the clip, just make sure you let me know what at to use and what you want it to be used. So, yeah, part two already. We're in, we're in this to win this. I want to be done. <laughs> That's not true. I mean, that is true, but also, JL, as far as my, I'm concerned, so far is doing a fantastic job, so... Hopefully, I'll, I don't know. I don't know if my commentary is going to really even add more, but, you know, let's get started. Sh oh, you know, I need to put my headphones in. I knew I was forgetting something. I don't have my earbuds in. I was charging them. Hello. I turned this off. I have editing to do today as well, so I wanted to get through this so I could work on the editing. I may or may not be hanging out in the Discord as well tonight while I get that editing done. Um, we'll see. Perhaps the sweet release, sweet release from our suffering. That's the goal today. Let's see, make sure we got audio. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're good to go. All right, are you guys ready? Three, two, one. No, and it's, so it's, me not, it's, saying not, it's not pointless. It's not yes, pointless. it is. And, and this is getting to the next because... point because I don't want us to run out of time. I don't. Okay, well, this is not coming through my buds. <laughs> so, whoops. Let's run out of time. But it goes. Why? Why are you not coming through my earbuds?
I'm just gonna do that. Now it has no other place to go. Okay, but, but all of the, the, all the You're previous never questions, the, all the, the previous stuff questions, that I point out. All the previous all, questions you went to are going towards your epistemology. I did set okay? it back just a little bit. So, You're never going to believe, bro, so why are all, we all, arguing about All of the previous questions were leading up to my inquiry. What it all comes down to is... It's not about whether or not somebody believes you or not. It's about whether or not you can demonstrate your point. And Dr. Witnesser hasn't presented anything as of this point in the conversation. And has said, said things that are patently false and like easily verifiable. Your epistemology, okay? So there is a, an obvious break in your epistemology. Uh, what is epistemology? Okay, epistemology is, is how we know things, is how we know things to be true. So for example- Why do example, I always have lag issues? Um, I don't know, it's are, just YouTube. There are theories- What, what, is, your, because, what is your goal? Is like so. Your whole channel is like, I'm an atheist. I'm going to disprove religion. Is that your goal? I uh, no, no. It is is essentially. He said what the goal of his channel was at the beginning of this stream. It's been an hour and ten minutes, and Doctor Witnesser doesn't even know the point of the channel that he decided to guest on. Remember when I said he was negligent? But I'll let JL explain what his channel's about. Really. People, I firmly believe that people can believe what I, I, I hold, that people can believe what they want to believe. But we have to acknowledge that certain, that certain beliefs are irrational and that irrational Wrong. beliefs can lead yeah. to irrational behavior. Okay. And that, and that the, yeah. I, these ideologies are not so black and white as people might have them. And that if we can understand, but they aren't. Yeah. And after years of doing this, That's I can tell opinion. you that they, are, that they are not. So, and that if we can understand that logic and reason can work hand in hand with the existence of a creator deity we can yeah. eliminate many of the societal divides that stop us from progressing never, as that's never gonna happen and species that's never gonna but happen it, but, it, but it can happen no it's not i've seen it happen in my own he's just being a dick he's just like well society can never possibly advance or get any better and so why even try and it's like then why are you preaching to people why are you going into games trying to make societal changes and change people's beliefs when you don't even believe that that's possible like, what are you even doing with your time and your energy? You're grifting, right? Like, that's his reasoning. His reasoning is his, he's grifting. He doesn't actually care about whether people believe in the Bible or not because he doesn't believe he can actually change anybody's mind because he doesn't care to. He's there to make money. That's what he's there to do. And he's telling on himself here. And so, of course, society has changed over time, and we know that, and logic and reason have prevailed in some aspects and fallen flat in others. And so having a channel that exists that tries to, you know, bridge the divide makes sense. It's not going to happen on a global scale. You know why? Because why God tells us it's not going to happen. God says the world's going to get worse and worse and worse before Jesus comes back. But it's so not. you can try to make so the world a better sayer. place, but the world is actually going to get worse. And what but the you're world, doing but, is but the, statistically and measurably, the world has gotten better over time. Does this person, like, do you think Dr. Witnesser wants to go back in time and he would do well in any time period? Like, he, you think that if he goes back in time, the world is a better place? Because some people do think that and believe that. Usually people who don't know dick shit about history, which we do know Dr. Witnesser doesn't know dick shit about history. But it's it, never going it to get me or any it other isn't. Christians. Listen. Statistically, statistically, it's not getting worse. It's getting yes, better. Sir. Yes, no, it's not. Are you kidding me? Name Drop like, a statistic. Uh, like, like, like what exactly? Name something. Other you, than looking at the news lately, bro. You okay, can honestly so, take a poll of your community and say the world's- He has no idea. He's got no statistics. He's just, he just thinks that's the case. He thinks that's like point, he thinks he's pointing out the obvious. He's just like, oh yeah, well the news has lots of bad things in it. Therefore the world is getting worse. And it's like, no, the presentation of the news is whatever the presentation of the news is and what people are interested in or what's gonna sell newspapers. It has nothing to do with what the statistics may or may not actually be. Even just take, but even if you were to take the, the statistics of, let's say, like violent crime, and let's say that violent crime in the world has gone up, or the number of deaths across the planet have gone up, let's just take, for example, for hypothetically, but you look at technological advances, the world has just straight up gotten better just from that end alone.
So what Dr. Rittner, just the fact that Dr. Rittner, sir, can exist on the internet and do what he is doing with the rights to do so in the way that he does is already an advancement. It already makes the world better for him. It makes it worse for everybody else because we have to listen to his asinine dribble. Well, we don't have to. I guess we're here because we want to be, but I, you know, I digress. It's definitely getting better. Yes, is that the, what you're world, saying? the world as a whole... Yes is getting better the biggest issue that we okay, have bro. the biggest issue wow. we have existentially is as but you believe that you're see remember like okay so yesterday in part one when dr winter just has something stupid and and jl kind of had like a bit of a ligament or a minor like <laughs> no and he was like wait why are you laughing bro why are you laughing here he is straight up scoffing based on nothing Dr. Witnesser has not presented a single piece of actual information. The information in the Bible, he hasn't even properly presented information in the Bible and properly attributed it to anything. He just has these ideas in his head that are completely made up and arbitrary fantasy land shit. And he applies it to his real life and then uses that as justification to be predatory towards everybody on the games he plays including minors including 30 what do we say 36 or 32 million 500 thousand minors are being exposed to this person great because he thinks he should be an educator he thinks he should be a fucking pastor right based on all of the nothing he knows sure as a species is climate change that's our biggest hurdle that's our next big hurdle. That's yes. gonna but, get worse. It's not gonna get better. Over, it may get worse, but it's guess gonna get what? Worse. We as a species- Why are you, okay, so one of the things in Christian theology is that you speak evil into existence. Everything that's come out of Dr. Witnesser's mouth up until this point is toxic, f um, what's the word, doomsaying. Like he, it's, it's, it's nihilist. He, he's everything is bad everything's gonna get worse why even try but he tries anyway he wants to discourage everybody else from doing anything and just let him do whatever he wants because he knows what's best for everyone right the all of the nothing that he knows these are progressing no they're not Based on that, what? I mean, the, the evidence indicates otherwise, so. I'd... Okay, I, I got one piece of thing that I might throw to JL as well is that I agree that he's just being like, well, the, as, the evidence indicates otherwise. I think that's a very good dismissal. I wish he was using it a little bit more or a little bit earlier, but that might just be dependent on like what JL is trying to get out of Dr. Witnesser, and I don't know for sure what he's trying to get out. So the, um, the other thing that I would probably push him a little bit harder on is why what makes you say that that's the case and make him present something right and i see this with like this a little more of like a debunking style where what you do is you present the evidence you give the evidence and then the other the other person saying no -uh is not valid and you can brush it off and that's totally fine my style is more of like no no, no. why you tell me if you want to make that case make your case right and it's just a it's just a different style of discussion it's not like, I, I don't think, I don't think, I think JL is doing a very good job. I don't, I'm not saying this to criticize him. I'm just saying this is my style versus his style. Totally disagree with you. Like I said, it's going to so get worse. What? You mark my words, bro. Okay, Five so years. Of it does not matter. It doesn't matter if you think it's going to get worse, right? Like it, your opinion based on nothing is not, it is irrelevant. If five years, if we're still here. You cannot tell me that the, the world's going to be better in five years. Check, uh, we will definitely check back in. Uh, check, <laughs> five years. Check, check in five I will years. definitely check back in with you in five years. Absolutely. So All right, everybody note five years from now, keeping in mind that climate change is a already improved just in the fact that we have taken steps to make it so that we're not past the doomsday time yet. Like that time keeps getting pushed back because we're making and slowly making improvements. The fact that industry is moving into... Uh, various renewable in resources, right? We're getting the death cries of, of some of the automotive industry and the oil industries. But if it, again, there's also a difference of America 
and not America, and which countries are spending money and investing in things, right? You can't base the entire world based off of your bullshit impression of your particular pocket of America. That's absolutely absurd. And again, I keep I, I want to remind you, climate change is a thing that's going to be gradually making major changes over time. So if you want to look at a five-year time span, you're actually looking at a very short pocket of time. So even if it does get bad or worse in five years, that does, like, for between here and here, that does not mean that the overarching thing is not upwards, right? But I can't, like, and I say this because I can't expect Dr. Witnesser to have any understanding of statistics or how to read a fucking graph. No, dude, dude the world's gonna get so better. A, the, the world's gonna get worse. Stand, so epistemological standards. So there are... Good job, When back I on say track. you have a break in your epistemology is that you apply your epistemology one way re regarding one thing, and then you choose not to apply that to another <laughs> thing because exactly. that thing... Right. That thing conflicts with you. So he needs example, an example because he doesn't the atomic understand. atomic theory of matter. Okay? Oh, that's too now, That's so way too... I'm not a scientist, bro. Yeah, he's laughing because he's uncomfortable because he knows that he doesn't know anything. At least he's admitting that he doesn't know right out the gate, but he's mocking JL for it instead of being embarrassed, which is what he should be. That is a way too advanced of a of an example for JL to give. And he keeps, like, throwing the ball over, over Dr. Witnesser's head. And I absolutely love every second of it. It's amazing! <laughs> yes! Get him! Get him, JL! Get him! <laughs> Okay, it's so like, let me the, bring up the atomic okay, theory of matter. So, okay. The atomic theory of matter is actually quite simple. Okay. Right. It's that matter is made of atoms. Okay. I agree. Okay. So the atomic theory of matter. Okay. It, it was uh, 1808 John Dalton. All right. You accept that. You accept that. Your epistemology accepts that. The evidence is there. Ob you know, I, you know, objects are made of atoms are the, are the basic building. That's what scientists all, say. All I have not seen it myself, but that's what they say. You literally have. You picked up a cup earlier and called it a cup and said that a cup would be a cup, whether you called it a cup or not. You you already agreed to this. You just don't understand what the what you you don't understand the application because you're too stupid. You're too arrogant, and because you will not humble yourself because you're a prideful piece of shit, and you just think everything that isn't like basically simple and just already agreeing with you is wrong. Instead of figuring out what things are right and how you can apply them to your belief, you're trying to take your belief and apply it to reality. Yeah, scientists say the universe is billions of years old. Him, they're wrong. I'm not a scientist. Also him, the Earth is 6,000 years old. <laughs> scientists are wrong. Yes, correct. This dude is an idiot. Okay, so, well, if, if the atomic theory of matter wasn't true, then we wouldn't be able to do things with atoms and novel tests for predictions regarding atoms wouldn't take place, wouldn't be, uh, come true. So, so you say, so you things say that you accept, like, for example, you use a cell phone, your cell phone yep. has a touch screen, yep. that touch screen is predicated on the theory of a quantum electrodynamics. Okay. If quantum electrodynamics, if our understanding of it wasn't true, then you wouldn't be able to use the What's touch your screen on your phone. phone. You have an epistemological standard that you accept for other things because the, for things that because example those things, hang on i'm i'm getting there because okay. those things don't challenge you ideologically like what but you have a break like like the theory of quantum electrodynamics the theory of, of the atomic theory of matter the germ <laughs> theory of the germ theory of disease no you have I, your i've, kids I've wash never their hands. you have I've your kids wash their hands after they go to the bathroom right yeah because you touch body parts that are smelly the, but that's the germ theory of just <laughs> that's the reason you wash your hands because you touch parts of your body that are smelly what huh maybe maybe if your kids have smelly body parts they should be washing those body parts Maybe I'm got now I'm kind of concerned about the health of your children at that point. Uh, okay. Yeah, this guy is like JL is just throwing this ball over over his head. Um I can only assume that JL is doing this on purpose. 
Um, a, a different example that I would probably give to this guy is just gravity. Do you believe in gravity? Do you believe gravity? Do you drive a car? So you believe that that fuel and f you can create fire, like you heat your house, you use electricity, that's all electromagnetism and yada yada yada. Like, electricity exists, you believe that like the internet functions, you're using that, you play games. The touch phone example was a really good and then as soon as you jump into, <laughs> and so as you jump into like why a phone works, you've lost this man. As far as he's concerned, it's fucking magic and it works because God says so. <laughs> We all know gravity is just a theory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. Disease, so you don't spread fecal matter to your mouth. Okay. Okay, germ theory of disease. So there are certain theories that you accept because theory is the highest level of understanding. It's a model. That I feel we like we're taking it five minutes to get to a question you want to ask me. Well, it's because you keep interrupting me. because you keep interrupting me. Okay, go ahead. So you have a break in your epistemology because you accept these other things because they don't challenge you ideologically, yet you reject the theory of evolution, the th you know, like, uh, and age other the theories earth. regarding the age of the earth and cosmology yep. and yep. the models that we utilize to make predictions about the universe. You yep. reject them because they the only, not because of the evidence, because the methodology is the same. No, it's right. false but, evidence, but and they you, contradict but you God's reject, word. That's no, why. You were, That's why you I reject it. No, 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 no. False no, evidence, stop, and they Dr. contradict Dr. the Bible. Stop, Doctor Witness. You have to understand what evidence is, and we in the first half of this we talked about, or he talked about, and jail pressured him for a definition of evidence and his definition of evidence is something it was a description of somebody robbing a bank. So if the yeah, false evidence and they contradict the Bible is his reasoning. So therefore he is begging the question, which is the thing that he said he wasn't doing as Dr. R as as JL was trying to explain it to him. I'm I just told you the methodology is the same. Right. It's 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 false evidence and they reject the it, it contradicts the Bible. Then how can the, the methodology be the same? There are Christians who believe that evolution is true and the earth is old and it does not contradict with the Bible nor their faith. Dr. Witnesser spent the entire first half of this talking about how anybody who believes that isn't a real Christian, though. They don't believe in God enough to accept the real- to, to deny reality. I guess. Uh, you gotta explain. Okay, so the, the 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 methodology, the process by which we get from he already point explained a this to point B, and do we get from literally the question to the theory, which is the model <laughs> that explains what? it best? What methodology so, is the same as what? Okay, the methodology, the the means by which we get from the question to the theory is the same for all fields. It's the scientific method. Okay, but well the science is the it, science is wrong about evolution, and it's fake garbage that was literally made up from someone's mind. Hello, okay, Charles Darwin. If... How do you know that if you're not a scientist and don't know anything about the field and you don't care about it? And by what means? Now, but okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you're made saying it that. Up. No, hang on, hang on. But you're saying you're saying that. But And there's evidence is, is hang false. Hang on. But that same methodology, the exact same methodology is utilized in the right. atomic theory of the uh, the atomic theory of matter there's theory right of science Hang bro on. and there's please wrong please let science. me finish he's okay. not the understanding exact same methodology meaning that the steps are the same the process of understanding is the same <sighs> stop the breathing in your elimination microphone is the same of eliminating bias is the same the theory of the uh atomic this is a theory really good matter, point theory of electroquantum i do want to point out and applaud i would have never gone this route this is such a fascinating and well thought out route for jl to take and go down this way i would be asking this dude why he thinks these things don't work i absolutely love that instead jl is making a comparison to say you believe this other science works and applies and you're not calling it fake and you utilize it every day but you're saying this one is fake even though the methodology is the same so where is the error in this science versus that science this is such a good point and this is a way this is so far over dr witnesser's head although i do admit it is kind of nice We're, i'm so used to like shitty dishonest people 
And as much as Dr. Rittenster is a shitty, dishonest person, he is being very, very upfront with his contemptuous, condescending bullshit about how, like, he's very, he's being very upfront about his, he, he just doesn't give a shit, right? Like, I, I can kind of appreciate that. Quantum dynamics, germ theory of disease. Yep. You accept these readily. History. But you reject these other ones and you only do it because they challenge you ideologically. No. no. Mm -hmm. I, I only mm. do it because there's good science and right science. Okay. And there's wrong science. Okay. And and you said that before. Fake now you, need, you said that Period. before. Now you need to I'm answer not saying, this question. I'm not denying then, all then, science but, but, and all things. Then how? Then no. That's the problem. You're either denying all science or you're picking and choosing things. That's the problem. You 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 need to be able to identify what is right science and what is wrong science because science, what JL is saying is science is utilizing the same method across the board. So if the method is the same, then there is no reason to suspect this science over here versus that science over there. And the only difference, and JL's right, the only difference is the ideological challenge. Then how can the methodologies be identical? They're not. They That's are. Your, then, then, they're wrong. then you're wrong. Okay, it's, it's, it's you're a scientific saying, method. You're saying I can prove evolution and and then these other things in the same manner, and that's what yes, makes yes. evolution right. Well, you're wrong. Novel testable predictions. What's that's evolution, how that's wrong? Evolution can't be proven. It's fake garbage, bro. Okay. You're but lying, how is the methodology lying, different? Or the evidence you see is false. I know, I, and I understand that you went to Darwin. Theory of evolution, roughly 70 different scientists have written on it between 1748 and 1859 before Darwin ever came along. Darwin wrote on the origin of species, yeah. and of course Darwin was was foundational understanding. There was a lot of things that he got wrong. It's weird that evolution that is fake. I really want the question to just be, then what is the difference in the methodology? If you're saying that I'm wrong and the methodology is different between these two things, what is the difference in the methodology? Dr. Witnesser can't answer that question. I know Dr. Witnesser can't answer that question. I don't know if Dr. Witnesser would ever be able to even answer that question. Fake weird that creationists garbage. don't. It's weird that evolution don't is cite. fake garbage. What's weird, Whitmer, the evidence it is, is fake. It is very odd period. that Dr. Witnesser, it is very weird that creationists often cite Darwin as being like the big thing, and they don't cite any of the work that was done in the 120 was, years since his since he since he worked. Listen, or the advancements we've made in medicine, I don't care animal what advancements husbandry, you think we made regarding evolution. Prediction. You think we've made? No, these are, he's just trying to turn everything that is a fact into, well, that's your opinion, man. Although, except he doesn't understand what an opinion is, nor that an opinion can be wrong. But that would be a level of philosophy that this guy's not, everything is, I don't think there, I don't think that JL has talked about a single topic that is not over Dr. Witnesser's head. <laughs> Fake. Novel Just like all the other religions in the world are fake. Then how do you it's reconcile Satan's novel? plan no. to get Dr. you to Witness, not sir. believe in the word of God? Stop preaching and Thank listen. Thank you. Yes. I'm not going to stop you, telling you the how truth do about you the Bible, reconcile, bro. Then how do you reconcile? Then how do you reconcile? You're here to have a conversation. You're not here to preach to him nor his audience. If you're not capable of having a conversation and are only capable of preaching when no one else is allowed to speak, you should not be engaging in conversation. It's that simple. You bait and switching people to try to use it as an excuse because you're not capable of understanding how to even apply your own religion nor what you're preaching. Mean, I can't say, I cannot describe this as anything except being a false prophet. You're what the Bible describes as a false prophet. I'll novel testable predictions. I'm, I'm not, I guess I'm not smart enough, bro. You you're got not. Me. Correct. All right, so. No, not only, it's not that you're not smart enough. Although I do think that's also the case. It's that you are too arrogant. You're too prideful. That's your problem. You're too prideful and arrogant to actually learn the theology that you're preaching and actually learn and understand where the thing that you believe in so much and so hard and love God so much, the thing that you demand other people do, particularly the LGBTQ plus community do, you're not willing to do it yourself. You're lazy. That's what you are. You're lazy, ignorant, and arrogant. 
and you're happy to be that way. What was that? that what does it say in Revelations again? That people will be uh, purposefully ignorant and blissfully ignorant in their arrogance? Pretty sure that's a verse. No, let me double check. Let's, let's double check that. Um, Revelations Bible. Uh, let's pull up. Um, uh, pretty sure there is a verse in Revelations about the end times. Bear with me while I pull this up. Put Book of Revelation. Book of Revelations. I, th I want to see like it was like something about blissful, but willingly, willingly ignorant is the is the term. When I was religious, um, this was one of the books that I spent more time studying. Uh, Peter, uh, 2 Peter 3, 5 says, um, for, oh my god, there's so many ads on this. What the fuck is wrong with this? I thought that Bible people were supposed to not be, like, about all of this material shit. Look at all the fucking ads. There was a pop-up that came from the side, too. Like, what the fuck? It's chaos. Um, for of this they are willfully ignorant, and by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. However, that is not the one I am looking for. I'm looking for revelation. Romans. And nope. No, I don't want to about ignorance. Will for ignorance po quotes, maybe? Uh, nope. No, no, nope, 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 nope. Damn it, I know there's a verse. I know there's a verse. Revelations. Oh no, that's not it. I wonder if I could just pull up a Bible. If I can just pull up an online gonna just give me the whole book. I just want the whole book. No! Come on, man. There should just be like a oh, here's a Bible gateway. Maybe that's It's gonna give me the whole book. No! Why is there not is there like a PDF? I'm gonna see if I can find a PDF. Yo, how about if if the they wanna spread their shit so much, why is there not just like a fucking goddamn PDF of the Bible? Revelations PDF. The Book of Revelations. Oh my god. Why does it look like this? Why does it look like this? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Book of Revelations. Okay.
God damn it. I just, the thing is, I don't know the exact wording. Uh, righteously uneducated. That's a, that's a good way to put it. Um, there's gotta be. It's, it, god damn it. I might have to look it up later. Um. Um. Because it might not use the word different versions of, or, or uh. Different versions of the Bible will use different words, so that's part of my issue here. The Bible that I was reading might not have, like, might have used the word ignorance when it was actually something else. I don't want to know. I oh my god. Alright, I'll pull it. I'll see if I can find it later. I, I, I'm not finding it right now. Um, if I remember correctly, though, again, I tried to look and I didn't see it, but I'll try to look it up later. I'll put a link in the description or something down the line to say that I, if I had found it or if I didn't find it. Um, but if I, if I remember correctly, Revelations says something along the lines that in the end times, um, there will be arrogance and willful ignorance to the truth. Th that's what it's talking about. Um, I'll try to find the quote later, <laughs> but I, I did my best. If somebody else finds the quote, please put it in the chat and I'll go look it up. Let, less, less, less Listen, not least. I don't rely on scientific stuff. I, I, I said I there's good, that. there's, I there's good, that. there's good science and there's wrong science. And if the Ron science, science, if someone comes out and says, listen, I know God said he made the world in six days and it's really about 6,000 years old, but this science says, sorry, God, you're wrong. It's actually six billion years old or whatever. That's not what the science says. It's sorry, God, you're wrong. It's right, saying you know, that the Bible got it wrong. Does it say that God doesn't well, exist? You're, you're wrong. It also doesn't say that the Bible is wrong. It's just saying that your interpretation of the Bible is wrong. And you're, as a Christian, you should be very open to the idea that your interpretation is not of the Bible is not the be-all, end-all, correct interpretation. Because you're not God. Unless you're going to claim that you have some kind of divine revelation over everything in the Bible... In which case, good luck demonstrating that. that. No, not gonna fly. Ron. Okay, okay, You're okay, wrong, okay period. Let me ask, let me ask Those you Those scientists, before, the evidence before I get, is fake. Hang on, it's wrong, Before period. I get to the last thing, before I get to the last thing. How hard is that to how understand? Do you, then how do how you hard reconcile, is that to understand? Then how do you, you reconcile individuals like, like, Francis, like Francis S. Collins? It's not hard to understand that you think literally everybody else is wrong but you. Like, that's an easy thing to grasp. Like, I can understand that. I'm sure JL understands that you believe that that's the case. But if you want to convince anybody else that they're wrong, which seems to be what you're trying to do, because, except that your way of doing that is, is horrid because you're not explaining how or why anyone is wrong just that it's different than what the bible says which is like okay how where where does the bible say days need to be literal days where does it say six thousand years has to be the number it doesn't say that anywhere the bible's not a textbook francis s collins uh, director of the uh, National Institute of Health at Bethesda for 16 years, head of the Human Genome Project. Okay, one of the literally, and, and I, have to, I have to throw it out there, uh, Christopher Hitchens is favorite theist because he is a devout Christian. Okay, had his whole transformational experience out Stop in nature. Stop breathing into the microphone. Book, um, the language of God. I don't care so if someone calls them a Christian, dude. I don't care if someone says they're a Christian. It depends on what their actions are that makes them a Christian. Right. It depends on what your actions are that make you a Christian. Dr. Winnesser, your actions do demonstrate how you are not a Christian. You do not behave like Christ. You do not behave in a godly manner. So by this, you are not a Christian. You're a grifter. Okay. So... If they contradict the Bible or if they try to prove the evolution right and still call themselves a Christian, they're not a Christian. Again, because evolution contradicts the word of God completely. You no, can't prove it. Believe one, 
No, it does not. The, yes, it does. Listen, it contradicts the Bible. Listen, the Word of God is. I don't think evolution contradicts the Bible at all. I think the Bible just needs to be interpreted in a way that fits with fucking Christianity. Like, you just need to inter- sorry, it fits with evolution. You just need to interpret it differently. Dr. Winnesser's version of the Bible, absolutely it contradicts that. But why would we assume that Dr. Winnesser's interpretation of the Bible is even remotely accurate, considering he's not capable of living out any of what he's professing he believes so much in? So he clearly is not taking it seriously. It's almost like Christianity seems to be, like, the easiest fucking grift on the planet. Discount drifting. How do you know that? The Bible is the word of God. How do, how do you Thank know you. that? Yes. Because there's evidence everywhere for it. No, no, no. There's evidence. But no, no. But there's the break in your epistemology again. It's not. There's evidence. There's evidence. There's evidence all over the place that supports many things in the Quran. But you reject no, that. No, there's not. You, yes, there is. <laughs> there are places. There you know, are people. You know, you know Muhammad married a six-year-old and had relations with her That's, at nine? That, that and you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to talk to that. You're going to def- that is literally, I've got you muted. That is literally not the point, and you know it. <laughs> yep. Don't Bro. be disingenuous. It, no, I said is, there are Islam things. Is dude, dude, okay, example, look, Islam is another look, example of Dr. Satan Witnesser. using religion Dr. to Witnesser. conflict with the Bible. I, dude, don't make me. It literally doesn't matter. Just, it literally, it's complete, non, that is a complete non sequitur. Mute you, dude. Come on. Don't try and derail this by making me mute you. Okay. I know, I know you're trying to run away from this. Yes. I'm not running but, away from anything, bro. Break, you, yes, think I am not. Reconcile, you cannot reconcile the break in your epistemology. He doesn't understand yes, the break. In the Bible, there are real places that are referenced. Yes, in the Bible, there are historical figures that are referenced. Yes, in the Quran, there are places that are referenced and historical figures that are referenced. The same goes for the Bhagavad Gita. The same goes right. for the Vedas. The same yes. goes for the Tao Te Ching. Histor- mm-hmm. The same goes for the Egyptian coffin texts. Historical yep. books... The holy books from many different cultures make reference to the things that were in their environments, things that we can say because you have people writing yep. and they're referencing the things that go on around them, the cities that they lived in, the places that they visited, the things that they have seen. You accept the Bible based upon this when it says nothing about whether or not it was written by God. That's something you accept solely on faith. No, it does say it was written by God. On, hang on. Because, it does. But just because it says it was doesn't mean it was. Just because, because you say evolution is true doesn't mean it is. Hang on, I have- Nobody is just saying evolution is true. There's decades of evidence and work and scientific effort and money that has been put and advancements in technology and advancements in society that have been made utilizing evolution. I have I have evidence in novel testable predictions back? I have up. evidence right the here that says is, it's the word of God. Stop interrupting. Okay. But the the problem- evidence you have is itself, though. That's why it's circular. That's why it's begging the question, which is something that JL tried to explain to you, like, yesterday at this point for me. Is the break in your epistemology is when it comes to the Quran, which has a lot of stuff in it as well that is also true, you flatly reject that. But it's the, the Quran? same standard. But yes. Of course, You're- because it's a work of Satan. Prove it. Okay. The problem is the break in your epistemology. Can you can you use a simpler term? There is no simpler term than epistemology. It is literally the study okay. of how we know things. Okay. And so your faith- So you're faith- saying the study of how you know things is wrong. No, he's saying that you have a break. Your epistemology is broken because you are treating one thing one way and the other thing another way. You need to pick a lane, either all of it or none of it. You can't have it both ways. The The simplest way to put Dr. Witness's problem is he wants to have his cake and eat it too. He's a hypocrite, right? But trying to explain, in trying to explain that, the answer is not going to be you're being a hypocrite. The answer is, is going to be your epistemology is broken because it's inconsistent. But you'd have to understand what epistemology is. So the the I think the only way you would be able to even try to phrase this in simpler terms would just be to say your application of knowledge and how you know what you know and what beliefs are leading you to or what you know what beliefs are being led by what you know is broken because you're not applying your knowledge and your expectations equally. 
I think that's the closest you could say. I think that would be the closest because it's it's Dr. Witnesser doesn't know what knowledge is. He doesn't know what truth is. He doesn't know what a belief is. You have to speak with him as if he is a sixth grader. <laughs> he doesn't know what thinking is. This is like, he doesn't understand these things because he, it, it's impossible to have a conversation with someone like this is specifically because like their, their level of knowledge about the topic is so beyond what they currently have, right? He doesn't know what knowledge is. When, when he says, when, when JL explains what epistemology is, is and it says how the by the method that you utilize to know what you know or to know that your the knowledge that you have is accurate is already way far beyond where Dr. Witnesser is at. So the question you if if JL was trying to educate Dr. Witnesser, which I don't think is what his goal is, right? If you're trying to educate Dr. Witness, I have a red spot here because I itched. Like I, I didn't I wasn't even itchy, I just scratched it. Now it's just all red. Ugh. The only way the, the only way forward, if if JL was trying to educate Dr. Witnesser, was would be to start with, okay, do you know what knowledge is? Now this is up for debate, but we don't have to go into that. Do you know what a belief is? Do you know what, um, like, how to come to a conclusion based on knowledge, right? Like, do what, by, what steps do you take to identify the things in your life that are true or real or that you have knowledge of? So if I say, to use the cup example, if I say this is a cup, how do you know that this is a cup? Dr. Witnesser is making the mistake of a, a, applying common sense to this when common sense is not applicable. Mm. By the way, just to, uh, to prop up six year old, uh, si sixth graders, a sixth grader would understand this, but you would have to use language that they could grasp. No, it, that, that literally epistemology is how we know things. Ontology is the essence of being. Is essentially mm -hmm. the you can't of thing. simplify it than that. No, this is this is, this is basic <laughs> okay. philosophy. Okay. It is basic philosophy. So do you you base so philosophy define uh -huh. philosophy? We, are we just define def philosophy. Like the field. Uh. Okay. So philosophy in itself is essentially the 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 study of thought. So pretty much you want to base your so thought instead of evidence, just thinking about things. I use no, both because the study of thought would it doesn't not use evidence. It's still considered material, although you can get into metaphysics, you can get into like meta philosophy where you're talking that we never go full of solipsism. God damn it. God fucking fuck. You need to analyze your thought process if you don't- I mean, I would just at this point, I'd be like, okay, epistemology is- is analyzing your thought process. It's understanding how and why you think and respond and react to things in a specific way. That's mostly psychology, but that's probably the closest you're gonna get to get a Dr. Witnesser to understand. <laughs> Science so how does thinking has of something make something science right? In itself has a, science in itself has a philosophical standard, a philosophical foundation, but... Right. I don't base science, anything on this philosophy. Science, science. Yes, you do! You're a Christian. Christian utilizes... Christianity utilizes philosophy. You have a belief and you preach that belief. That's philosophy. You, I mean, I can acknowledge that you don't use theology because you don't understand the theology that you're preaching and you don't know anything about the theology that you're preaching, but that's still philosophy. Theology is philosophy. Can somebody, like, point this man in the direction of, uh... And before theology isn't philosophy. <laughs> My belief in God isn't philosophy. Yes, it is. 
<laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> to be clear, after JL's conversation, literally nobody has to have another conversation with this man literally ever again. But it'll be really funny to watch if anyone does. <laughs> Well, that's that's also that's also deeply problematic about what you're doing. This is why you're not recognizing no. these things. No, because because yes. I go off of He's right. the word of God, not that's philosophy think, or what I thought or how I think something should. Well, it be. definitely is what no. you have. It, yes, you think that this is true. Oh my God, no! <laughs> We've gone into the realm of do you believe a triangle has three sides? <sighs> I think, therefore, I am, my man. <laughs> but you think because I mean, no, you're getting, this no, is no, because now you're getting into no, this now, is no, not thought. Like, hang this on, is words now you, you have to read it and understand it. You have to think about things to understand them to believe them. But I do like the Bible is not thought, though. That's kind of funny. No, clearly nobody was thinking when they wrote the Bible down. <laughs> okay. You're getting, no, no, word. no, hang on. Now you're getting into the problem of hermeneutics. <laughs> okay, bro. Whatever you say. Okay, but like, how can you say that your version and the one that you accept is the correct one when right. every other denomination out there that disagrees with you on many points has the exact same argument for theirs? Right. They don't have the exact same argument. They do. They, no, they don't. They can't sit there. If I say when you die, you don't go to heaven or hell right away. There's, okay. and, I can, and, and, and they say, well, yeah, you do. And I could say, prove it. Where does it say that in the Bible? There's nowhere in the Bible they can say, they can, they, they, there's nowhere in the Bible they can go to and point that out. Nowhere. It's your, it's you can interpret the Bible. There's more than one way to interpret the written word, whether it was written by God or not. It's a tradition of man that they made up, and it's like, uh, actually stems from pagan mythology. Again, coming from the Roman Catholic Church, when they mixed Christianity with the Roman Greeks mythology, and that's where the Roman Catholic Church came from. So, I could go to any kind of church and say, prove to me from the Bible that when you die, you go to heaven or hell right away. No, they can't bring up any scripture at all that proves that. But yet, I can bring up hundreds of scriptures that prove when Do you it. die, you sleep in the grave until the second coming of Jesus Christ. So, I want... One, he said 1,000, right? He, or do you say 100? Do you say 1,000? I want that many. In fact, Dr. Witnesser, go onto your Twitter and once a day for 1,000 days post one that says this because I did X to doubt. I know for a fact mine is right. My version is right because the Bible that? says that. What they're saying, the Bible true? does. What's that? You said it was a fact. Can you demonstrate it to be true? Of course, I have faith in in Christ. Ah, so no, okay. I, I, haven't, I haven't died. I haven't died yet. I can't that, show you. No, okay. Hey, look, no, see, I told no, hang you when on. we die, we're gonna go. It's the second hang coming on a second. Hang on a second. Because when I that say hasn't happened yet. Then you can't call it a fact. Yes, I can. Because the no, word you God. can't. Yes, no, I you can. can't. I can. No, you can I'm say sorry, I can't. You, I'm sorry, you can't. You can. You're going to call it a fact, but you would be wrong, and you'd be lying to people. You know that thing you're not supposed to do. You know that thing that you said that. There were specific fires for that you were abom an abomination for doing. So, you know. You could say that's I can't, not what a fact I is. That's not I what don't a care fact what you is. Think. A fact is de a fact <laughs> the, is definite. You cannot this, use proprietary. This is the word of God, Doctor Witnesser. You cannot use proprietary terminology and claim that it is true. You are altering the definition of what a fact is. Yeah, I've got you muted, dude, because. You're, he's you're, never gonna, you're not gonna blow past this. Dr. Witnesser is literally one of those guys that's too stupid to notice when he's been muted. <laughs> he just likes to hear himself talk. Okay, bro. You cannot, change the what? you cannot change the definition of a fact to suit your agenda. It's, oh, what fact or uh, words are polysemous, meaning they can have more than one meaning. But when you utilize a word in a specific way to mean a specific thing and change that definition to fit an agenda or to utilize or take advantage of that to say one thing but mean something else, that is what J that JL is saying you can't do. At least not honestly. Noah's flood happening is a fact. No, it's Moses, not. Yes, it, it absolutely is, it. is not. It's provable through the Grand Canyon no. and throughout the physics, world. Physics, and, and oh, physics, physics, and the law of su <laughs> physics, and the law of super superposition okay. completely destroy that. that that's, no, you're Correct. wrong. You're completely I have wrong. I have debunked it. I don't care what you think. In you order, debunked, in order you're wrong. for it to be okay. true, no. In order for it to be true, you have to appeal to magic. No, you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, uh, nonetheless. 
The last you, thing I want to go on—that's what you think. The, no, no. The last you thing think I want to go on. You proved it wrong uh, no, when I you don't. have it. You just proved the your last ignorance. Thing, the last thing that I want to go on. I really don't think Doctor Witnesser should be talking about proving ignorance. Doctor Witnesser, yes, he literally just went bop physics. Yes, Co correct. <laughs> I'm not a scientist. All the science is wrong. I don't know anything about science. I'm not a sci- I don't know anything about science. I'm not a scientist, but there's good science and there's bad science. <laughs> is the problem uh, with the dumpster fire? Which is where all of this stems. How about- how about- Why? If I, wait, hold on a second. One sec. Before uh -huh. I let you go on with the problem of faith, can I read you a brief scripture you in the Bible? Need, no, you don't need me to. You, you okay, well then to. I'm not going to continue. The Bible, I know the Bible better than you do. Then what's, so, what does is, what is Romans so, say? So you Witness, know the Bible so, better than I do. So, so, so Dr. W I know the better Bible better than he does. <laughs> I, a toddler knows the Bible better than he does. But, but, and I can say that based on the Bible. The Bible says in it, by the mouths of babes. <laughs> I literally use Dr. Witnesser's own logic that if the Bible says it, it's true. Therefore, children know the Bible and God better than Dr. Witnesser does. Actually, yeah, P Puck probably knows the Bible better than this pillow. Yes, specifically because it also says that all of creation will reach out and witness and, and praise the Lord. So uh, that would include Puck. <laughs> All right, chat. Uh, tell me if you think that you know, chat, if you think you know. Raise your hand. Raise your hand in the chat if you think you know the Bible better than Dr. Witnesser does. <laughs> me. <laughs> I think I know it. <laughs> I think I know it better. Uh, Trail Mixie says, please don't say Romans 1 120. All right, I'm going to take that as a, I'm going to take that as a bet. Romans 120. Let's see if that's where he goes. Witness, sir, let me ask you this. What does faith, Romans 1 say? Faith. faith. What does Romans, Romans 1 say? Yeah, faith you're right. In this you, what I'm is not Romans going, Dr. Witness, sir, I'm not going to let you derail this like you like you did before. Dude, I'm not stay derailing anything. I'm stay asking on, you. I'm not going to answer, your, I'm not gonna channel, answer your question. Dude, dude, this channel I'm not going to answer your question unless you answer mine. Not, this channel is not your platform for you, preaching. You think I'm here to derail something, and you think I'm yes. running away. Yes. <laughs> At this point, yes, because you're not capable of having conversations and all you want to do is preach and you admitted so. All right. Romans 1. I'll pull it up. I don't mind. Let's see. Romans 1.20 is specifically, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so people are without excuse. There you go. <laughs> For anybody who didn't know. Wait, and I'm not. Yes, I've yes, been yes. here the whole time. Because, yes, because I have questions no, no. to ask, and we have limited. I'm physically sitting in my chair and haven't physically run out the door. <laughs> Therefore, I am not running away because that's what that means. Time and okay, the end bro. of it, and you preaching from the Bible. You is have only an agenda. You. Oh, the chaos. The bludgeoning weapon have an agenda you preaching from the bible is only eating that's the an clock. agenda yeah and you preaching your false doctrine about evolution is only deluding I'm, people I, even it, more i'm not because that's the your goal your the goal vast majority is to people get in this here. chat they understand what i'm talking about yeah, but they, yeah they the all don't thing, believe in the bible the then before we have to go the final thing i wanted to ask you about faith oh okay? no wait the final thing is faith we are at there's one more hour left oh boy can faith be misplaced Ex Ooh. Give me an example. Good question. I'm just asking you, can it be misplaced? I don't understand the question unless you give me an example. You know, like the spelling can, bee? Can somebody miss? You don't understand the, uh, you don't understand the question, can faith be misplaced? Like, can't, like, you, you got married and the person was cheating on you. There you go. That's your example. Misplace their faith. Put it in it something else. Put it in something in the wrong thing. Sure. Okay. That should be an easy Can yes. Faith be misplaced without the person being aware that they've misplaced it. Yeah, of course. 
Yes. I know exactly where you're going with this, bro. Just keep on going. You are too stupid to know if somebody is, to know where JL is going. JL is so far above you, both intellectually and honestly, that you actually have no idea where he is going, and you're just trying to save your own ass, and you're trying to run away. You're doing the thing that he said you were doing beforehand. You don't want to answer the question because you're afraid to answer the question, so you're gonna run away from it, you're not gonna answer the question, and you're gonna try and derail. Rail. That's exactly what we've been seeing this entire time. This right here demonstrates exactly what JL was saying. So if anybody tries to watch this later and say, well, he wasn't running away, he was just like, making accusations. No, 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 no. He absolutely did. Is it I'm, not gonna yes answer, no? I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to answer your questions because I know where it's going. Get to the point. Okay. So. So just take that as a yes, then. He agrees. If Dr. Wurzinger was ever a step ahead of me, I'd hang it up and just stay off the internet for the rest of my life. <laughs> Can faith be manipulated by external sources? Well, of course, knowing? the Catholic Church has done that. We know that. Okay, great. So if faith could be misplaced without you knowing it, and faith could be manipulated by external sources without you knowing it, and faith... So is can yours, by the not, way. And faith is not evidence-based. Faith is... It is. Faith. It is. It is emotions based. Faith, you know, can, wanna, faith no, can be evidence based. No, no sir. Yes, there it can. A, no, no, sir. There is a reason why the why the Greeks used. I think that JL should have asked him the question to like ask him to define faith first and had that and then gone this route. But I see why he didn't. The word pistis and not nosis. Someone could see something that was in the Bible and that can give them more faith in the word. So the faith can be based off of something that's physically. That's not based on evidence. That's not right. based off evidence. That's based off emotions. No, that's a based off evidence. If I go and show you the no. Sodom and Gomorrah, and uh, and you didn't you you question your belief, and I show you the brimstone that's in the in the the, the ash where Sodom and Gomorrah was, and I then the ash of where Sodom and Gomorrah is or was would be the evidence. Then that would be the evidence part. So you're adding shit in. That, that physical evidence that you see that is the brimstone, which, by the way, is the purest sulfur on the planet in the uh, ashes of Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, there's no way that's true. Uh, purest sulfur on the planet. I don't... What the fuck does this even mean? How do... Oh my god, Korra! It literally comes up with the Korra question that says, How do atheists explain the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah? <laughs> Remains of Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, okay, so the, the whole, just the idea of the purest form of sulfur is, is all just based in this bullshit. <laughs> uh, look at all of it. All of it. Earth's core is bring I have to scroll all the way down here to get something, and then it goes right back to Christian Answers again. It's one of those. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Um, if I if you go and see that physical evidence and it helps you and it makes you believe the Bible more, how can that not be physical evidence that helps their faith? You're adding shit to the, why the example. Why faith can be manipulated by external sources? And why, if it can be misplaced without you realizing it, why would you ever use it as a tool to determine the truth of anything? There's lots of evidence, like I said, other than the Bible that proves the Bible to be true. And You've been relying on the Bible the entire time. You actually haven't presented anything. There's, what's that? Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, yeah, I, I was gonna mention the Dead Sea ah. Scrolls, but you're probably the, gonna... wait. Which one? Which one's the? Yo, you just just get rid of this guy. Tag his wife in. Tag his wife in. Get him out of here. <laughs> Doctor Witnesser's useless. Tag his wife in. Maybe she's got something. <laughs> send your wife. Send your wife to your next discussion. <laughs> oh my God. Fake ones here in America. <laughs> I don't know which ones you're, what you're referring to. The vast majority of the Dead Sea Scrolls have, found, have been found to be hoaxes. 
Yeah, okay, by what? Your fake oh. evidence? Dude, your no. whole channel your whole channel is based on just trying to disprove faith to be oh i can i can i can i can actually i can actually i can actually explain to you why your god doesn't exist all the evidence you think you have your god is a logical contradiction this is this is why i want to read you this scripture because this don't need to describe you don't need to because you beg to no no romans chapter one no no romans chapter one to two because there is no reason for me to accept the bible muted him without you first demonstrating that a god exists so that's the whole point there so I, nonetheless you know what that's um, actually fair like I said, that's i think that's actually a good point like there is if if there's not really any value in demonstrating that the bible is true without the god backing it so you demonstrate god first then you demonstrate that that god applies to this bible right that would be the order of events that would be actually a very good approach to it so uh, you know what yeah that's a good that's a good point my platform here is not a platform for you to preach. It's a platform for me to explore your epistemology yeah. and the epistemology okay, of individuals this and why your you. epistemology is broken. You don't get to take over someone else's channel, Dr. Witnesser. You agreed to be there. You need to respect the person's space, and you've been a disrespectful piece of shit this entire time, and JL has been kind enough to allow you to do that. And surprise, surprise, multiple times you've already said, well, if you don't follow my rules or do things my way, I'm going to leave because you're a coward. And you're dishonest. And why your epistemology this is broken. This describes you. So, and you in that me respect, read it. So, in that respect, you don't need do to. Do it on your own this channel. This is part of my defense. You need to. No, you it's not. No, if no. I'm on, if no, I'm on trial that's here, you you're like, no, that, that's if I'm you on trial, you're not letting me read this. That is you begging the question that your God exists. Begging the question, okay. Demonstrate your God exists. Do you, can, do, do you love. He's so prideful in his willful ignorance, which is absolutely a sin. Of your parents? Of course I do. Prove it. Well, I love my mother. My father's dead. Prove it. Prove it. Whenever I am around my mother, my brain produces the chemicals that are that, that are associated <laughs> with the feelings of love. You're basing your love off of chemicals in your brain. Yes. That's that, amazing. Yes. Wow. There's nothing deeper or spiritual about it. It's it's literally it's it's chemical well, I reactions can't help in the brain. You there, bro. <laughs> Give me evidence of something spiritual. I would probably point out, and this this is this is JL's belief, and I, I think that's that's totally fine. I I would also probably point out that something being chemical doesn't make it not necessarily a spiritual experience. It doesn't it doesn't change the way it feels or what it means in your life. It's just an acknowledgement of like the physical attributions of the and, and of that manifested feeling. So I just want to say that making. Saying that something is is a chemical reaction in your brain doesn't lessen or devalue it in any way at all, and the, just the fact that uh, Doctor Witnesser seems to think that that is the case tells me that Doctor Witnesser is an incredibly shallow human being, and his love is very conditional and uh, is not. He doesn't value love very highly. What do you mean? Are you talking about like a floaty ghost thing? You're saying that there's a spiritual aspect to it. Give me evidence of this. The Holy Spirit convicts through the conscience. You know, like our uh, murdering, evidence stealing. Of the, evidence of the Holy Spirit. Murdering, stealing, adultery. We all are born with that, knowing that those things are wrong. He asked for evidence, not for you to preach. And we all don't know that. Right? No, no, no. we're not. Oh, okay. Well, we I don't all know that. Wrong. No. In, a, in a society. No. But there are some we're not. societies. We're not. Yes, we are. We know. We have thing called conscience. Do you know what a conscience is? Not all societies believe the same thing. Can you pl can can somebody get Dr. Register onto a fucking plane and send him somewhere else just so he can, you know, learn that cultures are different and not all cultures and societies believe the same things or put the same value on each thing? And so in learning that, you would then be able to acknowledge that no, not everybody believes murder is wrong. No, not every murder by definition is wrong, but he means killing, right? By saying like is killing wrong, you then have to ask the question. You could say yes, but then you say okay, well hypothetically, uh, is self if you kill somebody in self defense, is that wrong? Is killing during war wrong? Is killing during this wrong, right? And so then you start to it's more complicated. And the way Dr. Witnesser is presenting it is just asinine dribble. So no, not everybody agrees or believes that killing is wrong in every scenario. 
Some cultures do cam cannibalism that exist right now, and they don't believe they're wrong. So where's their conscience telling them that it's wrong? That loading. The circle of doom. Yes. You think we're taught it that is, conscience? It is not the same for everybody. You th I didn't right. say the conscience is the same exactly for everybody, but the, the conscience is not something we're taught. You we're said, you said that everybody knows that this thing is wrong because it is the whole, it is a manifestation of the Holy Spirit telling you what the rules of life are. Just fact that not everybody thinks that that's true demonstrates that you are incorrect in your assum assumption or assertion. We're born no, with it. No, we have we we have what is called empathy, our empa our, our empathetic response to other human beings because of because. So you don't think we have a conscience? Because breathing into your microphone. Our, our conscience. When we talk about our conscience, we are describing. We're we're basically describing a combination of physiological processes. Yeah. Okay. Why it's not that you... we have like a conscience. Souls don't exist. So when if you're talking you know about the a Bible... conscience. If you know the Bible con, better, yeah. if you know the Bible better than I do, uh -huh. then how come you won't let me read a, a brief passage from it? Because Remember when I said he was going to start detracting? It's not your channel, and you've been told multiple times that it's not your channel, and you've been told that you're not welcome to preach there. You're welcome to have a conversation. You're welcome to come and chat. You're not allowed to preach, which is what you're trying to do. That's why he's saying you know. It's easy to understand because you're being a disrespectful prick. Because the Bible is irrelevant if you have not it's demonstrated not. your God. I... Because the Bible is irrelevant if you have not demonstrated your God to exist. That's fair. That's it. I'm I'm Dr. Winister, and I go inside and I go into games and teach people about the Bible, and you're saying the Bible is irrelevant. I don't want you reading from it. And I... No, it's not what he said. He said the Bible is irrelevant. I don't... He, he completely ignored and whooshed on the second half of what uh, JL was saying because he's too emotional and reactive rather than actually listening and paying attention. This man doesn't have a fucking logical bone in his goddamn body. He's just a- he's an emotional crybaby who just, like, snaps at anything. He can't handle it. He has the- he has the to- like, he has the emotional maturity. His toddler that we see running around in the background has more emotional <laughs> maturity than he does. You- he, and the reason I say that is because that child would have to to be able to deal with this kind of father. I think it's because you... no, 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 no. Stop! Don't, don't, don't miss, don't, don't paraphrase me, and don't get, don't change what I'm saying. Don't put words in my mouth. I said the Come Bible on. is irrelevant until you demonstrate that that particular God exists. You keep muting me, so yes, yes. Because you, if you're going to change what I say to misrepresent me, then yes, of course. I'm trying. But, you, you say you know the Bible better than me. Yes. But you don't believe it, so you don't know it better than me. No, well, well... The that is just not the case. That's just absurd. That is just an absurd statement. <laughs> there are people who know the Bible better than you, believe the Bible, and still don't agree with you. So that statement is completely meaningless. <laughs> the kid is dealing with being ignored by his father right now. Yes, emotional... That the child, that his child, has greater emotional control and greater emotional maturity than his dad has. Just in that interaction we just watched happen in the background. You're 100% correct, yeah. One of the reasons why, I, why I'm an atheist, this one of the many reasons why I'm an atheist is because the Bible is crap. Is because it is. I'm sorry. It's It's been demonstrated you're, a number of times. Uh, you're... Dr. Witnesser, if you're allowed to say that science is crap, then he then and that's your opinion but you're saying your opinion is a fact then jail's allowed to do the exact same thing to you and you need to stop fucking bitching about it whole theory of evolution is crap okay but i have the evidence to back up the theory of evolution so nonetheless the, 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 the primary me. Me the primary me the primary <laughs> question is this if faith he is a, he's saying this when he's not muted <laughs> He's such a clown! Oh my god! Praise be to JL's patience. Can be, Pray if for faith it. Is, if faith is such an unreliable tool, 
It can be ma yes. manipulated yes, without you being aware of it. it. He already acknowledged that it is. He already acknowledged that it can be manipulated. You could not know. You could place your faith in the wrong space. He's already acknowledged that it's not reliable alone. And in his example, Dr. Winnesser also demonstrated that faith alone is not reliable. You need the Bible to tell you something, and then you need to verify what the, Vi what the Bible says by looking at Sodom and Gomorrah or whatever the fuck. Which was also another bullshit thing that he pulled up. Surprise, surprise can be misplaced without you being aware of it. It is predicated upon your emotions, which is why people can jump faith. People can jump to nominations. It's emotions-based. It's, it's emotions-based. So not. why would you it's ever not. use such an, uh, uh, why would you ever use such an unreliable tool faith? to come to the truth of something? Faith is not an emotional thing. Yes, it is. Okay, faith is a, having believe, there's, Google the word- Stop missing the point. The question is, why would you use such an unreliable tool to make decisions? Faith. Answer if the no question. No emotion is in the definition, even. Having belief <laughs> in God and knowing He exists is not an emotion. Okay. Don't appeal the you definition. Can, the, the, like I said, you know, you would know the Bible better than me. You would know the Bible says that the the proof of God is in His invisible attributes and seen everywhere around you. Creation is. If it's an invisible attribute, then you wouldn't be able to see it, dumbass. It's proof of God. Like, you can't just... The Earth hasn't just spun up in existence out of nowhere, and the universe Correct. was not just created out of... Nobody says that. Nothing. But that like, is the what house you believe. You're in, that, that's the what house you believe. You, the Hang house on, that's you're what you, in... That is your claim, Can though. I finish? You're, no, no, that you're, is your you're claim. You're interrupting me, too. You're doing the same... That is, but that is your claim. That's your claim. I don't have a mute button, so you're so interrupting that, me. No, saying, so, Dr. Witnesser, you're that interrupting is your me. Claim. No, that is your claim that God spun everything out of nothing. But right. you're... Yeah, he's right. Ray Comfort spiel incoming. Yeah, yeah, you're probably correct. Look at how perfectly the banana fits in the hand after humans cultivate it. Weird. Oh no! It broke. You're claiming oh no! That our are, table. Well, maybe you're not. <laughs> maybe you don't believe the universe just a big bang happened and then all this just spun. That, no, no, a, that's not no. what the big bang is. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not going to get into the uh, okay. <laughs> my... scientific. I'm not going to get into your scientific. The big right now. bang. This is not... Jail is doing something that Dr. Witnesser is not capable of doing. He's like, you know, we're just gonna we're gonna drop that for now. We gotta get back to the point. Dr. Witnesser is just off in La La Land. Yeah was so, started from a point and everything expanded and these universes have been created from it you don't believe no that? no no the okay. universe the nobody universe believes that, that. You know, this is the problem when you don't understand you believe that Dr. basic Rindister. cosmology well i'm basic sorry astrophysics. there's lots of different uh, theories out so, there i guess so, no no there's, <laughs> there's theories for everything that we know okay but they're all individual things not multiple theories for one thing and the methodology is the same. The process by which we get to these conclusions is the same. You know, and that's the problem here. You, you have a live break. In that house. You have a. You, you have a in break house. in your epistemology that you cannot reconcile. Uh, you are scientifically. You are scientifically illiterate on the many best. of these topics. You are philosophically well, bankrupt. I'm that, not. Yes. You that's, are. Yes. You, don't even know what epi opinion. you didn't even know what epistemology was. I'm sorry. I'm not as versed in these big words okay, as okay. you are, brother. Break, break. Okay. You don't get to use jargon as an excuse to be ignorant. You're ignorant of the concept as well as the terminology. He didn't say you didn't know the word epistemology, man. He said you didn't even know what epistemology was, meaning you wouldn't be able to s describe it regardless of the jargon being used. So yes, you are you are philosophically bankrupt. He is 100% correct. That is a demonstrable fact. Okay, down the sorry, break down the sorry. Break down, break down the logical problem of evil for me. That's being dishonest again. Apologizing like that, that falls under sin. The logical what? The logical problem of evil for me. The problem with evil? The logical problem of evil. Epicurus. Well, the Epicurean to me, to dilemma. Me you're asking me like where evil came from. <sighs> but you're not asking. Me. You, you, <laughs> okay, so, listen. If you understood the topic, you would understand the question, whichever words are being used to describe the question. The question is, what is the problem of evil? If you don't know what the problem of evil is, what makes you think you ought to be preaching to anybody? <laughs> 
he is so beyond this conversation. Like, he's just beyond gone. Like, like, JL is so- I don't know what JL was expecting. Like, if JL was expecting more out of Doctor- like, more knowledge out of Doctor Witnesser, or just like, was, like, absolutely expecting this kind of a dumpster fire, but holy shit! <laughs> I ask him what logic is. He didn't- he couldn't define- he can't define faith. He could- was incapable of defining evidence or applying the- the pseudo defini- he gave a de an example instead of a definition. And so, like, he couldn't apply his example equally across the board. He, he's not- he can't- I, ask him to define logic. I dare you! I dare you! Do it! <laughs> Just because, sir, just because you sir, stem from a different giving background up on bro? and theology and like research and all that, and you know all these big words, and you're like, and just because you're educated and know what you're talking about, doesn't mean you get to be tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> yes, it does. It in fact entitles him to precisely do that thing. <laughs> you know, educated and you're, you know, all this doesn't mean. <laughs> I don't know any better, or I can't explain myself, okay? You no, can't explain yourself! You. JL's, J you, Dr. Witnesser, not being able to explain yourself is independent of JL's education and background. Those are independent things. JL's able to recognize it, as are the rest of everybody else here. I am not traditionally educated, and I can recognize that you can't explain yourself and recognize that those are different fucking things! Jesus Christ! What certain things mean, and you're and you're you're using what you know and what the things you know to to make me seem like I have no idea what I'm talking no. about when I just can't. You don't know what you're talking about. You are making you seem like you don't know what you're talking about. Express it in the way that you're expressing no, it. What okay. I'm, what no. I'm pointing at, what I'm pointing out, is is a very simple thing. The whole point of this whole deal was, you are going out there and you are engaging with the youth masquerading as a gamer and then hitting him masquerading with this. as a and, gamer and then, i used to game before i did this yes masquerading as a gamer you're using whether or not you actually are a gamer you're going into games with an alternate a, a intention than playing the game so you're masquerading as a gamer you're masquerading as a gamer something wanted to play the game so you can do something else dumbass masquerading as a gamer and then going yep. out and doing this and then preaching to them the problem yep. is is that you are interacting with individuals who do not have the philosophical or the scientific background to accurately challenge you on the logical entailments of your claim Gee. that is and dr witnesser does not have the scientific philosophy nor the theological background to have these discussions nor pr um preach in the first place as well so it doesn't even matter who he's talking to. He could talk to other Christians. He could talk to other people within his own group of like what, whichever belief system he's following, whichever sect of Christianity it is. He is still incapable of these conversations. He should not and ought not be witnessing to anyone. He needs to educate himself first. You need to know what you're talking about before you can teach others, you arrogant fuck. That's why what you're doing is not even preaching at this point. What you're doing is grifting. That's why you cared so much about numbers and why you're so offended about the numbers that you had, but Twitch wouldn't give you partner at the beginning of this fucking stream. That is ostensibly, you are going out there and you are punching down. I hope that oh, people yes. don't get as educated as you because they let the world convince them that God doesn't exist. And that's I hope people are stupid, because God couldn't handle intelligent people. How much la like do you want to see a demonstration of a lack of faith in your God than what he just said? Are you serious? Uh... Uh... Nobody needs to make this dude look like a fucking loser. He's just making himself look like a fucking loser. That's what you did. You know. No, God. No, no, no. It wasn't my education that convinced that. God itself, yes, like, it was. like, no, no, no. See, see, this is the problem. Is you don't know anything about JL or his life. You're making that up. You're just making that assumption based on nothing. He could have lost his faith before he was educated. You have no, you have no idea. 
You're just making that claim. You have no fucking clue. And you have no way of knowing that unless you've actually put in some effort to learn about JL the individual, but you're not even willing to listen to him, let alone do any fucking research. We haven't gone into, we, 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 the point is not to go into he's my so salty. whole yeah, he's ideology. So salty. There, Why are not? Only, there are only three logical contra like, like logic <laughs> there are only three logical conclusions why don't we have time to go into your entire ideology because you set the limit dr witnesser at the beginning you get you set the limit at two hours so then why would that like if you want to have that discussion and set that up another time i mean i guess you could but you would have to understand the concepts and you don't even believe him when he said he's bi you don't even think it's fucking real so what would the, be the point <laughs> you can draw from the evidence we have available to us and those three conclusions are either classic deism there is an entity that exists that created everything and it just doesn't interact with us and we have no evidence of its existence dystheism a god that exists but has deliberately deceived us and so it's withholding mm -hmm. the information yeah. from us so that we can't know that it exists or atheism those are your three logical conclusions the only three the bible the biblical abrahamic christian god is defined yeah. by definition by its nature is a logical contradiction and therefore cannot yes. exist it's not that a literally is it. yes it about? is he doesn't know what a contradiction is he doesn't know what a logical contradiction is that is for sure he doesn't know what logic is the logical uh, you know what i'm not going to explain it i'm sure jl will Ow. Because the because the Bible because the, the biblical Abrahamic God is described is is literally described as having attributes that literally define it into a logical contradiction. Wow. It cannot yes. possess. Example. Give me an it example. Cannot possess omniscience. You don't. And omnis you should not be asking for an example here. You should be asking what is the contradiction then, because you don't understand it. But you would have to let him finish, and you would have to be an honest interlocutor to even think to ask that question appropriately in the first place. But that's not what he's doing. He's just being a stubborn ass. Why? simultaneously why not because they're logically contradictory why 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 is why is why like give me an example you you want no give not an example you want how the question you're asking is how how is it contradictory what parts are contradictory in the de in the definition and how god is defined in the bible you should you should know the way god is defined in the bible since you know the bible so well dr witnesser right so you shouldn't need doctor or so you shouldn't need jl to tell you what the definition of god is right and how god is defined in the christian bible right so you should be able to point out how it is not contradictory or how it is contradictory if you know what a contradiction even is. But because you don't know any of these things, and JL does in fact know the Bible better than you do, in fact everybody in my chat knows the Bible better than you do, and I would suspect almost every Twitter follower I have also knows the Bible better than you, I would also suspect that everybody I've ever met in my entire life knows the Bible better than you do. An example that proves what you're saying okay so what that helps me understand it by you giving me an example an omniscient entity okay cannot do anything outside outside of the limits of its foreknowledge so ostensibly if god is omniscient then it's anything it gone. does in the future it already knows it's going to do and it cannot alter that fact it cannot change that it cannot okay. change right. its mind it's literally just a mind I'm cart with you. Running. okay it's a mind cart running on a track <laughs> Okay. Right. You mean so, he knows everything and what's going to happen in the future? Is that, in, in other words, he well, knows that's everything. The that's the that's the that's the problem. That's part of the premise. The second half of that is if he knows, it means he cannot change. He has the foresight and foreknowledge, meaning that he already knows what's going to happen and therefore cannot deviate from that path. Of omniscience. Why is it a problem? Because it. Because you didn't it listen. Logical contradiction. Because you didn't listen to the first half or the second half of the fucking explanation. <laughs> like what? Which give I me an explained. example. I if just you're that explained. Give me an example. Because you said he can't. He 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 he's knows everything. So he's so whiny. The contradiction is that it means that God cannot deviate from God's path. The omniscient being cannot deviate from the path of doing whatever it's going to do. It has no freedom of movement or choice or matter. It is in. It is a minecart on tracks. It cannot go anywhere. You didn't listen to the second half of what was being said, you dense fuck. And he knows what's going to happen. 
And you're saying that's Let's a, go with something. Let's go with See? He didn't say the second half because he wasn't listening to the second half, which is the explanation part. The first half was the premise. The second half was the explanation. Because you didn't listen to the explanation, you don't understand what the... You asked for an example and you didn't listen to the example. You only listened to the premise. An omnipotent entity. Ability, the ability to do all, the ability to do. You can't uh, give me an example, okay? Yeah, the he is giving with, you an example. Let's go with He's giving you another one. It's a little bit easier to describe. You can go with Averroes' paradox of the stone. Like, how can it, if it, if a being is omnipotent, can it create a lot? Uh, can it create a rock that it can't? No, lift? he can't. That's okay. So that's not omnipotent, right? If it can't do something, that's that's if it can't do something that is logically consistent, then. Right. Because what we say, we, the honest way of saying is that when, it, when God is omnipotent, it means it can do anything that is not a logical contradiction. So literally, God mm -hmm. can't make a married bachelor. God can't make a square circle. Because he's <laughs> God, it's essentially that you can't be all-powerful and all-knowing at the same time. It's so logically <laughs> contradictory. Okay? So... If there, so if it, if it the, the, that's just that it can't do, it can't break the laws of logic in and of I'm, itself. I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm still okay. waiting for an so, example. But the, but the, Those but are the, an the example. These are an example. The stone is: Can God, being omni being omnipotent, create a rock that is too heavy for it to lift? Because God, God can be. He'll just keep. He's so. He's so able to do anything. So he's able to lift it. If it was too heavy, if it was too heavy for him to lift, he would just make it not heavy enough to lift. You know what I mean? Like, but but no no. But if it's too heavy to lift, that means he can't he can't lift it. <laughs> that that's that that literally contradicts omnipotence. Doctor Winter's you brain is it would then have smoking. I can see the smoke the coming out of his ears. It could lift it, but because it couldn't lift it before, because it couldn't do it, that's a logical contradiction. Hold on. And I, then, know, and then, I know and the then, answer and, to this question better and than then, what. And, and then when you tie in the other omni properties, omniscience, om, you know, omnipotence, omnipresence, omnibenevolence, you get into things like the prob the logical and the evidentiary problem of evil, the Epicurean yeah. trilemma. There are a number of things that challenge these deals, and all of this goes into the body of work. Oh, here, here, let me, Honestly, here, here. wait, wait, let me let me answer the question. Uh, um. I, I knew I heard this somewhere. Like I said, I know your I know your question that question. I've heard it before. I just didn't. I don't care about the question because it doesn't pertain don't. to me. Or yes, I don't it really does. need of course it. Does. Like, it pertains to your claim. Can I, can I finish? Yep. Like I don't have a mute button and I can mute you when you interrupt me, but you do. So anyway, why wouldn't you care though? But because it doesn't matter to me because I know God exists. I know He's all powerful. I know He's there. I know all this stuff. And that argument doesn't matter. God could literally come down to this man and say, "You're wrong, and what you're doing is wrong, and your interpretation is wrong." And Doctor Witness would be like, "No, uh." <laughs> I guess I should know how to defend it for people like you, but you're never going to believe anyways unless some but, miracle happens and God no, no. convicts your conscience. That, that, that's the so, problem. Let me, that's let me, the problem. Wait, 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 that's no. the problem. It is, I'm, it, not, I'm not the out problem, there, the I'm not out there to convince to atheists. Claim. The problem goes to your claim. No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Let me finish. Yes, it let, does. Me, let me let me you answer the question. God, the, you claim the God question, has X you claim God has X attribute. The X question attribute. is based on a you popular... claim you claim God has X attribute. X attribute has a logical entailment that contradicts X attribute. Let me read let me read you this and see if you how if Remember at an hour and twenty minutes they said they were gonna talk about faith and we are now at an hour and thirty minutes and we're talking uh, talk about logical entailments. What you think of this, okay? The question is based on a popular misunderstanding about the definitions of words like almighty and omnipotent. These terms do not mean that God can do anything. Rather, they describe the amount of God's power. Power is the ability to affect change, to make something happen. God <laughs> being unlimited has unlimited power, and the Bible affirms this in Job, and it lists a bunch of scriptures right? that you probably aren't ever going to look at. Therefore, we know God the Bible be better than you do. To be done. God cannot, however, do yes, that, which is actually impossible. That's literally what I just described. That God yes. can do anything that is not a logical contradiction. The truly impossible is not made possible by adding more power. Therefore, because, unless. Yes, uh, listen, you're, you're, I'm, no, I'm reading. Dr. Witnesser, Dr. Witnesser, you are repeating what I just said to you. 
Correct. Okay, That's all is, you're yes, doing. Is. I this just said gonna... to you, omnipotence is the ability to commit any act, to do any action. The article that was going to not... answer the question, okay? But you don't want to finish. Then because... no. Then answer the fucking question. And he asked you, not the article or whatever article you fucking pulled up. He asked you to answer the question. And on top of that, then read the answer. But you don't understand the question, so you don't understand what part of the article you need to read to answer the question. Because you're repeating everything I just said. Okay, I'm sorry I repeated everything you just said. But that's but not it, the it, problem. It's not that you repeated everything is just he just said. It's that you just repeated everything he just said, but didn't understand that that's what you were doing. That's the problem. How do you know that this article that you just pulled up on Google as an answer is even correct? You don't know anything about philosophy. You don't know anything about knowing whether what knowledge is or whether or not something is true or how to define what is true. And you already have a blatant flaw in your application of your knowledge and belief system. So how in the flying fuck do you know whatever article that you pull and you acknowledge that faith is can be misplaced and misled? How could you possibly know that this article not only answers that question, but is accurate, true, or realistic of an answer? I'm pretty sure this dude is basically just a black hole of stupidity at this point. It continues. But okay, I guess you don't want to know the answer because you won't it's let literally, me finish. No, I literally have already answered this. You're repeating everything I just said. The answer to your question... Uh, <sighs> You won't let me. I'm not making a misunderstanding. I'm not making a misunderstanding of what you omnipotence I'm... is. I described omnipotence exactly like that article is describing it. Right. All right. I'm gonna link you. I'm gonna link you this article, and you could read it in in the off time, okay? Because you're not you're not letting me explain it. You're not letting me t read it. So you just pulled article. it up right now. You can't explain it. <laughs> um, it's cross examined I know this guy is really cool. Um, if it oh, doesn't yeah. make any sense to you, then fine. You can disagree with it, but. Um, you don't know, no, no, God, no, sweet Jesus. You don't disagree with something because you don't understand something. That is a fundamental problem that Dr. Witnesser is having throughout this entire conversation. Because you don't understand something is not justification to dismiss something or not believe something. Not understanding something is a reason to look into it and educate yourself so you can understand it, so that way you can make an informed decision about whatever the thing was that you did not understand. That is how you're supposed to operate. That is what you're supposed to do. That is what Dr. Witnesser is so completely fucking lost on. Just gone, just fucking gone. The whole question about, can you know, uh, what was Ever your point? What was your point about even asking that in the first place? He doesn't even Ultimately, know what the conversation's the about. The whole thing comes down to, you have you, that your epistemology is broken and you yep. cannot reconcile. It's not. That, that is. The, not. I've already. He says that every time. He agrees that it's broken and then it's just like, no, it's not. <laughs> How can you say it's not when you don't understand the term? You said you didn't understand anything about philosophy or understand anything about epistemology nor what it was. How could you, and you agreed that you didn't know these things. How could you possibly know when somebody who does know these things tells you that your epistemology is broken and it doesn't follow? How could you possibly answer confidently and be speaking truth when you say, no, it's not. You can't possibly know, and admittedly so. Therefore, you are lying. <laughs> you have no based idea. On your understanding, based on your what you call evidence, okay? And I'm saying, listen. You didn't even have a definition for evidence. Would you like my definition for evidence? I don't care. It's true. All, all, he doesn't care. All you want to know what you want to know what evidence actually is. I'm uh, listen. All, all I'm saying is you understand the world and how you want to understand it no and, and i'm saying no. my, my no no Listen. sir no sir do not misrepresent me on my channel can i talk? i, under, I understand no. the world he's told he has warned dr Winnesser multiple times to not misrepresent him on his own channel so when he says well can i talk no the answer is no you don't if you're going to misrepresent him he's not going to let you do that simple as that then why do you think you got banned on twitch was it not following the rules dumbass and then, I and understand I that you. I'm going to I'm going to mute you when you misrepresent me. 
Okay, bro. Get that straight. Okay. I understand the world as the evidence indicates it is. It's false evidence, though. How do you know that? How can you say that? Because right. anything that comes out and contradicts the word of God is false evidence. And so we've looped all the way back around to say that his reasoning is circular and is fallacious and he is begging the question. Because Satan wants it there, so you believe in that. Satan's got more power than God. The proof of the word of God is everywhere in creation. Everywhere. Not just the Bible, it's everywhere in creation. If that were true, if what you were saying was true, then the methodologies Uh, would not work. They're Correct. fake methodologies. They're false methodologies. Then they can why, work for okay, one okay, thing. Okay, okay, and that doesn't mean that. You can You're sit there and that. try to prove it. You don't, I don't need yes. additional information. Muting me again. You just, You're just going to keep no, muting I just me because you can't just need your, handle no, this. I just need then... your claim. I just need your claim. You say that they're false methodologies. If they were false methodologies, then why do they work for one field? I would, you know, listen, I'm not, I'm right. not a scientist and I can't get out all this stuff and research it myself. You're basing your beliefs. Listen, you're basing your beliefs. This is what it boils down to. Every time. Fuck you, kid. Get the fuck out of here. Kid has more emotional capacity than his father has. This is what it all boils down to. This whole argument. It boils down to you basing your beliefs off of the books you read. Right? Unless you're... And, and 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 I'm basing my beliefs in the world based off the book I read. One scientist says this, and you accept it as truth. This says this, and I accept it as truth. You're basing your faith in mankind and what they say they saw and found, and how they say the world's put together. I'm basing. I'm not a member I'm of the I'm basing my basing I, my belief on another book. I and how, I'm how not they a member. Say, I'm how not a God member of a, says I'm not a member. Formed and made. I am not a member of a proxy cannibalistic corpse worshiping death cult. That's not what I am. I'm not a not part what the of that. Battle is. That, is exactly what what is, Chris, that is exactly what Christianity is. It is, it is literally communion. Literally communion say. is proxy cannibalism. Communion you worship is the not corpse. in this. You worship a, the symbol of your faith is the corpse of your God, and you long to die to join your God in heaven. You are a death cult. I mean, quite frankly, Dr. Witnesser in this stream did go on about how the world is going to get worse and worse and worse and how he's looking forward to that. So, you know. You are an apocalyptic death cult. Listen, and Christ was JL. nothing more than a failed apocalyptic JL. creature in Iron Age Palestine. He was literally the David Koresh you have in Iron a mis- Age Palestine. Un- so. You have a misunderstanding about that, what you just said. The whole no, um, I don't. communion. That's not in the Bible. That's a made up doctrine. <laughs> Breaking bread and, and saying it's my body and drinking wine and saying it's my blood is apparently not, apparently the Last Supper of Jesus is not in the Bible, guys. Remember, Dr. Witnesser knows the bi- better, better, knows the better Bible than anyone else. Remember this. Dr. Witnesser knows the Bible better than anybody else here. So yeah, definitely not in the Bible. Like the Catholic Church believes they eat this bread and they drink this wine and they pray and, and it magically yes. becomes a sp- That's false doctrine. That's no, not it's what the in Bible the Bible. That's, that's, that's what they believe, but communion is but very you much. you believe that? Communion. No, no, is, no it's no, not. No, of course not, but no, communion not. is very. Yes, it is because it's reenacting the Last Supper and the covenant that he made but at that's the time. Not what, that's not what eating his flesh and drinking his blood means. It's symbolic in the word. That's, a- that's why it's a proxy. It's problem with hermeneutics, and you that's a problem with hermeneutics, and you cannot demonstrate your birth. Yes, it is. Dr. Witnesser. You, Dr. Witnesser doesn't know what her, uh, hermeneutics is. Bible. That is a problem of hermeneutics, and you cannot demonstrate it to be true without you know appealing what? to it's your ju- opinion. It's just like the Jews. Yep. The Jews think that you, you know, God told them to keep his law written on their hands and on their heads. And the Jews took it literally, and they took a piece of paper, wrote the law on it, put it in a box, and they have it on their hands, and then they put a box on their forehead, and they put his word on their forehead. That's not what God was saying, and you could literally prove it through the Bible, through all the scriptures that you... That's not your personal interpretation of what they said. You're taking the Bible literally about about 6,000 years, so why are they right, or why are they wrong and you right? That's stupid. It's self-contradictory, and this is why there's a break in your epistemology. You do not treat everything equally. 
you don't want to read because he's talking about your thoughts and your actions. Let your thoughts you reflect my word and your mind be on my word. Then, and then the Jews you... took it literally, which was so stupid, and they still do it today. You could go to Israel and see them with then, these box on their fans how... and, and the community. Uh, nothing like a healthy dose of anti-Semitism uh, in the morning. <laughs> Union is the same thing. It was not to be literal, okay? We're not literally eating his flesh. For you to make that comment about, oh, he's a corpse, you worship corpse, eating this, that, and the other thing, that's false satanic doctrine that the Bible doesn't teach. Satan so if you're gonna exist. if you're gonna call Satan Christianity something, if you're gonna call something something, understand that, about the doctrine and and that's not satanic or 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 a corpse worshiping garbage that the Catholic Church talks about in communion because that's the not what the Bible the teaches. Of your faith. Doctor Windsor, do you or do you not worship Jesus? The symbol of your faith is literally your crucified God. No, yes. it's not. Yes, it's it not. Is. It's called a crucifix. No, dude. I don't, I don't have a cross anywhere in my house. My church doesn't put a cross on the house. You know why? Because the second commandment, don't worship, don't, don't bow down to anything that was created in the heavens or on the earth or in the ground. And don't then worship how do you it. Accept, then how do you accept the Holy Trinity? What about, that has nothing to do with the cross. Okay. The, Didn't he just say you need to understand the doctrine? The, he doesn't understand the doctrine of the, of the Trinity? Oh no! Talk about the object of the cross. I don't have one in my house, and I don't. My church doesn't have one in that church because it's a state, it's a symbolism of Roman power. They they put Jesus on this cross. Why would I have something that killed Jesus hanging up in my house and it use it as a symbol? Which is why Christianity today is so backwards because they're using this cross as symbolism of then killing why, people. Then why, then why is the cross in the literal logo for the Seventh Day Adventist Church? The cross, the Bible, and the eternal flame. That was the new logo. The old oh! logo is actually three angels going around the world. I don't agree with the new logo, okay? I don't, I'm don't. i not the Seventh-day Adventist Church you know, organization that decides these things, okay? The Satan, I'll just say this. Satan is involved in every church throughout the world, okay? So he thinks that this, the church that he's part of has been infiltrated by El Diablo. <laughs> this dude is paranoid as fuck. Holy shit. He's in it everywhere because he doesn't you got want- You got evidence for that? Well, look at look at the the, the cross, like you say the Seventh Day Adventist Church logo is now has a cross over it, okay? And we but we don't yet we don't use a cross at any of our churches. Why is that? Well, you know, and I'm not going to go into the politics. Jail's fact checking you know, him right now. All this stuff of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. I'm just saying that uh, in answering your questions about the cross and like what it is and stuff, these things are are he not. He wasn't true asking what that is. Okay, you Seventh have an understanding. I'm looking of something. at the, I'm looking at the history of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. That logo has been in use for a a while. Bit, like a long time. Yeah, but the original. If you aim to actually preach truth when it comes to the practice of such a faith, uh, being certain of the sources of knowledge that you can gleam your uh, gleam your faith into is important, don't you think? You yeah, you should probably go take that to Doctor Witnesser. <laughs> you would think. You would think. Yes. The original one was three angels going around the world. Or three angels, typically with a trumpet. Which I'm is what... not. I'm not seeing that in any. Okay, well you're there. not seeing it. That's not. So what? That doesn't oh, mean okay. it's not no, true. Here we go. Here we go. I see three angels with trumpets that are that are going around. The world. <laughs> I am a Seventh Day Adventist. The majority of the world believes we are a cult. <laughs> yeah. And you believe Christianity is a cult, so it doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, Christianity is a cult. It's not it's a death cult. It's a death it's not. cult. It's not a death. Why do you call it a death cult? Because you long to die and be with God. I don't want to die. I'm not going to go and commit suicide. First of all, commit, committing suicide is a sin but, against God. No, that's those are not. You don't have to. You can long for death without killing yourself. Obviously. God. Yeah, I didn't say suicide. You, okay, well, but you want, long to die. In I order don't to be long with God, to die. You, you, in I order to live be with my God, you have Earth. to die. What? In order to be with God, you have to die. So what? I That's the thing that you're looking forward to. But you're saying it in a way that makes it look like people no. want to just No, die. he's yes, not. You, you just said you want to No, you're just interpreting it that way because you're an idiot. <laughs> out. You, no, I'm you're describing it flat out. You're, you're saying said, it in a way to make it look like it's a call, bro. Don't give me that. You're using language like that on purpose. No, I'm I'm describing yes, it are. accurately. I'm boiling no, it down not. to its fundamental to it to it's fundamentally not. what it is. Because God, he doesn't know the word. He doesn't know the meaning of the word longing either. Apparently, 
because you misunderstand what now, the Bible. That, 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 you say you've and, read and it and you that, know it better, and you don't. It's just like what Christ said. That in Christianity is predicated upon human sacrifice. It's not. Right. No, yes, it's it not. is. The what? Christianity, God. Christianity, Christianity is not based on human sacrifice. That is a but. human sacrifice. You sacrifice... You had to make an animal sacrifice all the way through the Old Testament until Jesus showed up, who was a human sacrifice, God in human form. What the fuck? Sacrifice, a blood sacrifice what, ritual. What happened to, to Jesus? Cleanse the, the blood sacrifice okay. ritual to cleanse the world of sin. The loophole that God created for himself to alleviate the sin that he created initially to put into the world. You have a very wrong understanding of those things. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I could prove it if we have another two hours. So apparently Dr. Witnesser doesn't believe John 3.16 is true. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that any those who shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So he doesn't believe everything in the Bible? What? <laughs> huh? I could well, prove it. I could go through the Bible. Can... I could go through the Bible and show you all the misunderstandings you so, think you have about it so and prove them wrong. Through, just like so the whole communion thing. So just like the whole, you know, like you didn't prove anything about, through, about communion. What I would, I would predominantly what I wanted to talk about so, regarding you your epistem you, regarding your epistemology and regarding you believe your books and what your man says. What your man, what mankind says and wrote down in books, you believe. So I believe. We, we, I believe so, my book. I no. understand. I, that. We, you we, have we, faith in man. Dr. I have faith Witness, in God. Doctor Witness, we, no, no, I have faith in evidence. Yes. No. So, you don't. Oh, I actually, sorry, I don't have faith in evidence. I don't have faith at all. Uh, you just said it. You just said it. The closest thing, and of course, that's he, all he's got is you said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what what JL has, if I if I were to describe it, was he has faith in the methodol a tried and true methodology. He has faith and believes it has a belief in something in the same way that he believes that if he opens the door to his house, he's going to arrive at his house or be leaving his house. He has, he believes that this tried and true tested thing is going to remain consistent. That's his faith. That's his belief. I have faith I, in evidence. And I corrected myself. I misspoke. <laughs> Is, he didn't misspeak. They're just using the term two different ways. Words are polysemous. There is more than one use for the word faith. You can have faith in your wife. That doesn't mean that the faith that you have in your wife is 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 blind or is based on no evidence. You have evidence for why you believe or have faith in in your wife. You believe your wife is faithful. Things like that. It's just a. It's just a. It's just a dishonest tactic that apologists tend to use. They will take the word faith and they'll they'll wibble wobble it around and they'll start it up with this and then be like, oh, see, it's the equivalent of this, and it's just not the case. <laughs> so you have I to don't have faith. faith. You have I to have faith, have faith to believe what you do. I do not have faith. He does not have the same I kind I of faith. You have to have faith and to believe what you do. No, no don't. you don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. No, you don't. All. But uh -huh. that's a conversation for another time. Nonetheless, we've got pretty much to... to the end of it. I wanted to explore the elements of your epistemology. I wanted to explore your <laughs> scientific and philosophical understanding. And pretty much, you know, I wanted to look at the fact that when you go onto these platforms and you talk with these kids, whether they're 16, Why do you 17, focus on kids when 90% of the time it's adults? See, just like... It's a problem no matter what. And that last one, I already gave the statistical numbers about why it's problematic. And because people focus on that, because it's more problematic that you're doing it to children in a space for children than you, for adults. An adult is going to have an easier time dealing with you than a child is going to. A child cannot consent, unlike what Dr. Witnesser claimed in our stream, where he claimed that kids could consent. So... No, you are having sexual conversations and conversations about sex between adults and adult relationships with children is not appropriate, particularly behind parents' backs, which you've admitted to. So yes, that is one of the reasons why people are focused on that. What you're doing is still problematic for adults, and you could have that conversation, which is mostly what JL has demonstrated this entire time, but why you ought not to be doing what you're doing and why it's problematic in totality. It's just 
extra problematic that you do it to children. I don't care how many children you've done it to or continue. And the fact that you're going to continue to do it to children makes it a problem. If you said, yeah, no, I'm never going to bring this up if I, if, if I ever confirm that there's a kid in the room, then people would probably get off your back. It would still be problematic, but people would probably get off your back about it. But then you would have to stop making all that money, money content that you put out on YouTube that has chi that has children and kids in the thumbnail. No? Okay. Let you, me, let you, me finish. and let everybody else finish. use the let kids thing. That's your goal. Let you wanna, me finish. You wanna, that's your goal, bro. But you do engage with. I've listened to your videos. You do engage then you with know, minors. You would know that I talk to ninety percent of adults, and you're choosing matter. to focus you, you on engage, the kid aspect. But you, but you go you're choosing to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Focus on that, and you engage. Oh, well, you engage with people who are philosophic, who, who lack the philosophical and scientific accuracy or yeah. literacy in order to challenge you so what in order and you wouldn't allow your own kids to do it so what that's you already know what you're doing is problematic you already so what is irrelevant you already admit that what you do is wrong because you wouldn't allow your own children to engage in that conversation or even be close to being allowed to be present in that scenario. So you know what you're doing is wrong and you admit it on my stream with you that you think that it's an error for parents to leave this door open for people like you. And you admitted and said you were taking advantage of that, what, what you believe is a whole. So you know what you're doing is problematic. You just don't like that people are saying that it's problematic because it makes you look bad. And mostly just you making you look bad at that point. Teaching them about on, the gospel, about what God. In order to challenge you on the logical what, entailments of your claims. What God did, teaching them about love. No, it's the logical entailments of your claims. Teaching Stop people about not me. lying and not murdering, that's really bad. Yeah. You don't need a God to do that. Okay, bro, whatever you say. You have a good day. <laughs> and you rage quit. Like you rage quit. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good job, JL. Oh, Good job. You don't need a god to teach these things. You don't need a god to So he is it would he made it just under two hours. Yeah, can we please get hashtag bitch made in the chat, please? Bitch made in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, bitch made. Uh goodbye, sweet prince. Good night. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna give us a quick break and then I do want to hear the last part of JL's kind of breakdown about how he feels about it and what, what went on. So I'm gonna give us a quick break and I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some more water. Oh, that was, whoo, what a rage quit. He did the same thing to us actually, I'm pretty sure. I have to double check. I'm pretty sure he rage quit with us as well. Oh boy.
Welcome back. All right, so we got uh, we got through this. Uh, Doctor Register rage quit. Uh, we had a quick little break, and uh, there's like eh, about like twenty minutes or so of JL kind of having some uh, final thoughts on this. So I want to give uh, JL the airtime and the attention. So I'm gonna th go ahead and throw this on and see if we have any additional thoughts or if we agree or disagree with uh, his takeaways. Teach people to not be an asshole. Yep. Man, holy shit. Right? That's how I felt at the oh, end of ours. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, a huge giant thank you to everybody out there. I appreciate your patience in me in yeah. dealing with this. Um Wow. Yeah. yeah. That was that was fucking wild. Uh that was just, you know, nuts. Uh, yes, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, Seventh Day Adventists are considered a cult. They are apocalyptic in nature, and of course, uh, they, they, you know, just like all of Christianity, they are a death cult. Um, you know, and when it comes down to it, I really wanted to get to it because the the whole purpose of me having this conversation was because I chatted with. It was, I was watching the conversation that Chesh had with the Cheshire Vic that Chesh had with him and had him on based on the whole the whole Muslim kid thing. That's me. The whole point being is that. There were questions that I thought needed to be asked, and that yeah, thing got yeah. a little because there were two hosts, and yes. there there was a lot of cross chatter, so things yeah. were a little disorganized, and I think it got a yes. little less productive than it could have been. Oh, That's no fault of check. Absolutely, the other one. just yeah. There was the, the lack of Mania. organization. I think hurt it. So I wanted to have a yeah. one on one with Doctor Witt. Yeah, we uh we had to do that live immediately, so we jumped from one stream to another. When I offered prep time and the guy was like no i just have time now so we just took the opportunity rather than prepping so yeah it would have been better to be prepped and it would have been better as a one-on-one -on -one. i absolutely agree witnesser this guy who literally goes unbelievable on online gaming platforms like fortnite and call of duty and then yep. preaches to kids or preaches to the you know whoever he happens to run across about his seventh day adventist mm -hmm. bullshit uh, and he's completely, he also completely disregards anybody who is not talking and could be listening in as well. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's essentially what I, and I wanted to get into things like what his epistemology was. Did he have, what was it with the level of his philosophical understanding? What was his scientific background? How he's zero. making these claims. And Less than zero. He doesn't have anything. Negative. He's profoundly ignorant, ignorant when it comes to science. He's illiterate when it comes to it. He is mm -hmm. philosophically bankrupt. Like, yeah. I, I guess he's never cracked any philosopher. I, I would suggest you start with Plato, dude. If you if you happen to watch this later, Doctor Witnesser, I suggest you start. Even start with William Lane Craig. At least that's fucking something. At least it's fucking something. With like, actually, start with Socrates. Start with Socrates. Start with the Republic, and then move forward from there, and just kind of like walk through it. There's hundreds of thousands of videos out there that will give you a breakdown of what different philosophies go i didn't want to venture into like philosophy of truth and see if he's like coherent you know like coherentist or uh um or pragmatist or you know whatever you know i, I didn't know where he sit because i felt that would get way over his head um but yeah i wanted to have this chat because uh this is the kind of person this kind of stuff is just he goes out and he punches down and that's what I want. That that's what the point that I thought was missed in Chesh's interview was. Yeah. It was pointing out that he is going out. He's choosing his targets selectively. It's very. Yeah. It's very akin to what Celsus talked about in his criticism of Christianity, and how Christians will spend their time uh, indoctrinating and converting the uh, the vulgar and the ignorant while refusing to debate wise men. Now, I'm not calling myself a wise man, but I'm certainly wiser yeah. than this individual, and just yes. by virtue of what I understand and what I know. So he refuses to engage individuals who understand these things. I did wanted him to look at the logical entailments of his claims. Yeah. He refused to do that. And that was just, you know, no, all pretty much it. Um, yes. Extremely toxic. Um, that's true. Uh, I, I badly needed to dumb it down and slow it down. Yes. Unfortunately, I just, I wish there were other words that could break down like epistemology. That's like, that's one word. If he doesn't even understand what epistemology is or ontology is or, you know, the it's really hard to take words like that and, and, and concepts like that and dumb them down, particularly, this is something called the, the burden of knowledge. 
when you know something and you have a good understanding of that thing, sometimes it's very hard for you to explain it to somebody who doesn't have the fundamental background that you have. And so you, that's, that's kind of the thing that I do, right? I spend a lot of time taking something and breaking it down into the simplest terms possible. So it, it can be very, very difficult, especially when you're doing it on the fly and when you're on a time crunch and when you have, you're talking to an asshole, right? The ph like like I, that's why I didn't get into like philosophy of truth, you know, because you know like theories of truth, you know, whether it was you know, um, <laughs> yeah. but nonetheless, whew, that was that was that I, that was I I I got kind of heated because he kept wanting to interrupt me and I did not want him and I had to because I did not want him to uh, uh try and use my platform to to preach because yes. that's not what my platform is for. That's fair. If he wants to do anything. He can provide yep. evidence for his God. There is no evidence for it, unfortunately. Um, either way. I would agree with <laughs> Jesus that. Jesus Lovecraft Warren, that sounds about right. Thank you so much, Factory. I appreciate that. So good to see a bunch of people here. I see Rachy is in the chat as well and is having a back and forth with PhD Tony. Uh, good to see oh, you, Rachy. Oh, God. Not um, PhD I'm so glad that you Tony. Up no. Conversation. Um, <laughs> PhD, <laughs> PhD Tony owes me and Manya a fucking apology. Of he knows tone. what he did. It's like that. I think <laughs> it's like one of the earliest things. You know, it's it's ridiculous. Um, no, he didn't. Uh, who is God? Uh, who is like God? You've commented on my channel. I've challenged you when I pointed out the logical inconsistencies in your comments, and then you walk off and you go comment somewhere else. You've already demonstrated you you won't engage. So you're mm -hmm. just here to preach and run your mouth. Uh, be sure to like throw the emoji, the appropriate emojis, whenever they uh, respond. Before <laughs> I go to anything, because I'm hey, curious, Rachie is in the chat. And I would love to have a chat. Actually, technically, Rachie, that's biblically ignorant because nowhere in the Bible does it say God gave people free will. That's actually added on. That's That was an interpretation. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't actually state God gave humans free will. So that that's not – so you know, maybe look at your Bible again. Um, Read it again, Dill. Praise the beard. Oh, thank you so much. The beard is looking good this week. The beard is looking on point. I absolutely agree. Beard on point. Morning. I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. Yes, um, you should be. Doesn't understand fallacies, but I can. Looks uh, great. <laughs> just call me obvious as well. Like me, he doesn't understand fallacies. Fallacies can be difficult if you haven't had them explained. They can feel very much like jargon if you don't like have exa Jeez, like, I can understand the examples. Like examples and stuff. <laughs> yeah. All right. I see. I got some some chats in here. Some excellent super chats. So let's run down this. I oh, want to hear the super my chats. Word. Maxine Kennedy for 50 pounds. Thank you so much for that super chat. You rock. Love you, JL, and everyone else doesn't tell us. I'm going to speed this up just today. a little bit. Thank you so much, Maxine. I do appreciate that. That is so that is so generous. Thank you. Oh, wow. I'm just, uh, I feel it. I feel the love. Thank you, Maxine. You you absolutely rock. Jefferson Spatchcock for $9.99 freedom dollars. Here's some money for JL. Some strong drinks okay, after strong this drink discussion. I may need one. I mean, like, I, I, I might, I might go to the bar. This bad boy. But thank you so much for the super chat, Jefferson Spatchcock. You rock. Uh, Jet PhD Tony for five Australians says, in small words, your guest is fucking delusional. <laughs> as much as PhD Tony owes me and Manya a serious fucking apology, he's not wrong. <laughs> So very true. Yeah, that, that was that was some seriously ignorant shit. Thank you, PhD Tony. Yeah. Second best Bob for ten pounds is do I trust anyone who calls me bro every other sentence? <laughs> uh, like, you know, kind of gamer persona, you know? I will point out that he didn't. He actually, I mean, JL's being kind about this and letting it go. He didn't start calling him bro until he started getting to a certain level of indignant. That's that's when he started calling him bro. Uh, you know. Now he goes on there's like, hey bro, not, you know, nice frag, man. I, I haven't gamed forever, but I don't game shooters. I really don't. But thank you, second best Bob, for the 10 pounds. I do appreciate that. Soon, uh, so say, and Tsunami for $1.99. Says, by the rules of gamers, JL just won because he rage quit. Uh... He rage quit, you lose. <laughs> yep. I could have kept going on. I mean, it was frustrating yep. because he w kept wanting to preach as though the Bible yes. meant anything. That's the problem. Is that there's no point in him preaching if he can't demonstrate that his God exists. And if his evidence for God exists is the Bible, then that's circular and can be just thrown out. That's literally just, right. that's basic logic. So I don't know why he doesn't get this. Thank you so much, Tsunami, for the dollar ninety nine and uh, the win confirmation. Because he doesn't want to. Braid edges for five Australians. Says, hey, bud, you can tell this guy is just talking to teenagers. LOL. Also, Professor Dave just uploaded you on his channel. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you for that. I'm on Professor Dave's channel. Holy shit. Ooh. Yay. Thank you, Professor Dave. You rock. I fucking love Professor Congratulations. Dave. Congratulations. Professor Dave rules, and he also explains. Thank you, Fred Edges. I appreciate that. Skeptic Dank for $1.99 says, if facts contradict the Bible, it's demon sorcery. Obviously. <laughs> Thank you so much for the chat. Uh, yeah. Skeptic Dank. Oh, man. Yeah. That was, yeah. 
that, that essentially is his, is his methodology. Anything that challenges him ideologically has to come from Satan. There is no capacity. He, he, he lacks the capacity to reconcile challenges to uh, cuz uh, okay so he lacks the capacity to, to reconcile challenges to his ideology because yep. he's been indoctrinated to believe that certain things are that, that certain aspects of his ideology are mutually so that they must be true that it's they that literally it's impossible for them to, for them to be false so. i i don't know if i would uh, attribute um uh indoctrination to this but it is dogma it's like the dogma of his faith and religion requires this um particularly for dr witnesser i don't um whether or not he was actually indoctrinated i would need a little bit more but i, I wouldn't be surprised but I, I would need a little bit more history on like how he grew up basically problem is is that he cannot demonstrate the logical contradiction in saying that it is impossible because if the thing is impossible, there is a logical contradiction there, and it could, you, there's some sort of violation. Mm -hmm. So if the, if a thing, if a concept is impossible, it, it, it entails a logical contradiction, or entails some sort of break in like the you know, reality. So Correct. You cannot both be the immovable object and the unstoppable force. You can't be both of those things at the same time. It's contradictory. Oh. He can't reconcile that, or he can't basically demonstrate the logical contradiction there without first diving into, like, the problem of hermeneutics and how he solved that the Seventh-day Adventist particular interpretation of the text mm -hmm. is the correct one. That's where these problems go. They go round and round and round and round. So, PhD Tony says, you are literally doing exactly what destroyed my ability to believe in God. Is preaching. Yeah, that's the problem. Right. So, let me see here. Uh, got, oh, yes, David of Oakland. For five freedom dollars says for your pain and suffering. Thank you, David of Oakland. I do appreciate that very much. Uh, that Deserves every second of it. Thank you. Um, every dime, I guess. So I have. A, I actually, since Rachie's in the chat, and Rachie's going back with PhD Tony. I am God. very, very curious. See, where, where, where was her last comment? Where was her last comment? So, and this this question will go for who? I don't is know who Rachie is. Okay. So Rachie, I hope I have your attention. And who is like God? I hope I have your attention as well. Let me know in the chat if I have your attention. If you're actually like listening, instead of thinking of the next thing to type. Okay, let me uh, let me let me know if if who is like God has if I have your attention. Let me know in the chat. Put like you know, say hey, say yes, you acknowledge it. Same with Rachie. Rachie, if I have your attention, hey, excellent. So they're both listening. Fantastic. So here's the question that I have for you. When you come into the live chat, okay, and you engage in conversations with people who are not ideologically bound like you are, why do you think it is effective to start spouting scripture at them? Why would you do that? Essentially, it's like, you know, taking a water gun into a battlefield. It's ineffective. It doesn't do anything. Because they don't, they are not ideologically bound to the Bible like you all are. So why do, the, why spout scripture? Why not engage on the logical entailments of your claims? Why go to scripture when you, when you know that it, doesn't, that, it, that it doesn't mean the same thing to your interlocutor? Right. That's what I'm curious about. Why come into the comment section and spout scripture? That's a good why question. Why come to a live chat and spout scripture at people yeah. who recognize that you just spouting scripture as though it's true is begging the question? If people don't value the Bible, then you trying to utilize the Bible and scripture to convince them is just an effort in futility. And so why do you, would you think that that's a good idea is the question. Yeah, I, that, I think that's a fair question. I think that's reasonable. A, a reasonable thing to ask. I would actually love an answer to that as well. That's what, I, that's what I'd like to know. Because we can have a good conversation. We can have a solid conversation that is productive. But if you're just going to spout scripture as though it's true. It's without not a conversation anymore. Exists, it's preaching. There's no reason for right. us to believe you. So when you spout scripture, you actually shut down the conversation. That's you putting up a wall. I think he's going to say a wall. Wall. Yeah. <laughs> Not progressing. Right. So it's counterintuitive. That's yes. what I'm curious about. Yeah. Yeah, but Fortuna Major 580 says, the Bible quotes out of nowhere is weird. It is strange. Yes. Because it's like, why? It's like, it's like you explain to me this theory. Fish. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It doesn't logically follow. It's a non sequitur. What is this? So, and then, okay. And a detraction. So, who is like God responds to my question about, about quoting scripture that means nothing yeah. by quoting scripture. <laughs> of course okay, they did. Like God. Uh, of course <laughs> they <laughs> did. Uh, uh, I, I take it Rachel did not respond. 
But he said, I said scripture against the person you were debating in his claim, then, then became PhD Tony said after his PhD or something to the effect he stopped believing in God in my standard of evidence. That was worded really weird. So I may not. That is up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've understood don't think what I understand what they're so, saying. So, but uh, going back to uh, expel, <laughs> expel Yarmus, <laughs> expel Yarmus. Um, yeah, hello girl, what? <laughs> so, and this is what's interesting is that she goes back to it by quoting scripture. So apparently, I didn't have Rachie's and who is like God's attention. Apparently, they weren't listening. So I'll ask again: Why would you throw scriptures when they don't mean anything to your interlocutor? Why? Right. Why would you do this? Why would you bring a water gun to a battlefield? It, it's ineffective. It means nothing. It will do nothing for you. It will do nothing mm -hmm. to the person that you are, that your opposition. You're throwing, literally throwing water balloons. All you do is make yeah. them walk away. When Rachie, please listen. Who is like God? Please listen. When you arbitrarily drop scripture that you have mm -hmm. cherry picked because you think it follows with the conversation at hand, when you do that, all it does is shut down the conversation. That's literally you saying no. Correct. Which, yeah. by the way, is a direct contradiction. You may as well say no. -uh. Right. So when when I come along and say First Peter three fifteen, give me. The reason, give me the evidence for your belief. Give me the reason, you know, defend why you believe it. And then you drop other scripture, you're basically telling me no. Yes. Correct. Jail's right here. The Dr. Nimrod says, my water gun's filled with vodka when it threw, which makes the battlefield a party, baby. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted, uh, this is why I wanted to have a conversation directly one-on-one -on -one with Reiji. I wanted to have a talk with Reiji directly. And I wanted to have yeah. her and you know have her on the on the channel and just back and forth get a sense of what her epistemology is, what her philosophy of truth is, what is her standard of evidence, are there any breaks in her epistemology, um, you know, and why feel the why feel the need to invent layers of ontology that are completely unnecessary and unjustified, unwarranted. Even. Sure. So I'm yeah. just I'm curious. That's why I wanted to have this conversation with Rachie. It was, that's, I'm not familiar with Rachie, so I don't know about that. But okay, let me ask you this, Rachie. Why the KJV? Oh, of course they're using the KJV. All right, I'm going to put a pause on this and I'll finish watching this a, a little bit later. I think this is a good time to wrap it up. Um, I will give you guys the link again to this if you would like to leave JL a comment and have a conversation with him directly if you are more in like if you are interested in that if you want to talk about I don't know whatever dogma if you want to talk about philosophy if you think you have an answer to um, some of the um, epistemology questions that he asked or, or contradict or logical contradictions that he talked about um, when it comes to Christian theology absolutely go and set up a conversation with him or leave a comment in his comment section he is the tar he is the person to talk to. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. This has been a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, my god. It took me, oh, a two and a half, or two, yeah, about two and a half hours, give or take. You know, give, like, just time setting up and chatting and all that good shit. Um, part one is currently available on Twitch. Part two will be avail- uh, part one and part two will both be available on YouTube as well. Hopefully I can find that, uh, piece of scripture from, um, from Revelation that I was talking about. Maybe it was in Ezekiel. I have to check it again. I'll see if I can find it and make sure I put a link down below if I do. Oh, stretch, right? Oh, I should. Uh... Uh, have a good stretch. Uh, two minutes ago stretch. Yeah, that came in right when I started wrapping up. Uh, amazing. Amazing. I think JL did a fantastic job. I think it was a little bit aggressive, but I think that makes sense with his brand and what he was doing. So, like, that's not a complaint. Um... He definitely went down a whole different road, which I absolutely appreciate. That it wouldn't if I had gone down the road or tried to go down the road that JL wanted to go down on my channel when I was with him, it would not have been nearly as effective. So I'm kind of glad I didn't, and I'm glad that JL was able to kind of pick that pick up the ball and and take it take it away. I kind of hope that D Dapper ends up talking to this guy about young Earth creationism sometime because that would be <laughs> really fucking funny. I'm telling you, this guy has got to be the new the new town bicycle. Everybody's got to have a turn. <laughs> But thank you so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Go follow Bridge the Divide. That's the name of the YouTube channel if you're looking for it. Um, big uh, appreciation to JL. This is this is good. This, I think he did a fantastic job. I'm going to get on out of here. I'll be live tomorrow doing some art. So art day tomorrow. Um, I'm off to go do some editing. And perhaps I will see you in the Discord. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, is there somebody to raid? Is anybody live?
God damn. Oh yeah. All right. We got a live. We got a live. We'll go over here. Whoops. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's make sure we go to the right, right place. Boo, boo, boo. So this is, um, out, um, offbeat, offbeat outlaw. He, um, he did a lot of D&D, &D, so some of my favorite Dungeons and Dragons, uh, YouTube shorts, and he is currently playing Cult of the Lamb. So have fun. Go say hi, go do a goblin raid, throw some goblins at him, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye bye